praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world even calls Jesus Christ, man. We the Israelites, all right, the children of the Most High Power, and we come out here week in and week out, all right, to call our people to repentance, man. Right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Seminole Indians, you are the children of Israel, and you must repent in these last days, man. All right, bring it out. Book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 17. <clears throat> And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. Come on, man. Hey, that's a scary thing, man. And we say that boldly, man. Everything we do and the words that we speak, man, and our actions, our deeds, we do all in the name of the Lord, man. Ba'ashim HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, give me the book of Sirach, chapter 36 and verse 11. All right, we only out here for the children of Israel, man. All right. We out here to get our people right in these last days. We're living in the end of the world, man. Oh. Shout out King. Shalom. We're living in the end of the world, man. Time is short. It's time to get right with the most high, man. Right? Or get laid down, man. Oh. That's right. All right? 36 and 11. Look at Sirach, chapter 36, verse 11. Bring it out. Gather all tribes of Jacob together. What the Lord say? Gather, gather all the tribes, tribes of, of Jacob, Jacob together. together. And the Lord said, gather all the tribes of Jacob together, man. All right, go to the lost sheep, man, and bring them together, man. Pull them out of this burning house, America, man. All right, gather them together, man. Give me the book of Genesis, chapter um, 49 from the top. Go ahead. Okay. Um, gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. Do what? Have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. Hey, it's time for the Lord to have mercy on his people, man. Hey, we don't went through the curses, man. Hey, our, our judgment is up, man. Our captivity and our prison sentence is coming to an end, man. All right? But before that, the Lord has to gather his people, man, in these last days. Has to tell our people to come out here, learn who you are, study, fast, pray, repent, and return it to the Lord, man. That's the only thing our people should be focusing on in the last days before the Lord bring these plagues, before the Lord bring the destruction. Read that. This is the book of Genesis chapter 49 from the top. Go ahead. And Jacob called to his son and said, gather yourselves together. What the Lord say? Gather, gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. What the Lord say? Gather, gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. And the Lord said, gather ourselves together, man. Come out from amongst your enemies, man. All right? Join together with your own people in the last days, man. All right? Gather yourselves together, read. That I may tell you that what shall befall you in the last days. Right, because what? Jacob's trouble is coming, man. All hell get ready to break loose in the earth, man. And the only thing that's going to save you and protect you is the spirit of the most high power, man. Right, right. All right, bring that out, King. Book of Psalms, chapter 135, verse 4. Bring it out. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself. What the Lord say? For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself. For the Lord chose Jacob, the children of Israel, unto himself, man. Our people don't know what that means, man. They don't know who they are, man. They don't know that they are. When you read about Jacob in the Bible, it's talking about them, man. All right, they read the Bible and it's a damn fairy tale, man. Right. They read the Bible and all they see is white man, right? All they see, that's why our people don't really believe in the scriptures because they don't see themselves in the scriptures, right? right? So we gotta come out here and make it plain, bring the scriptures to life and show you who you are according to the Most High God, man. That's the only way these scriptures are gonna come to life to you. All right, go ahead. And Israel for his peculiar treasure. And Israel for his peculiar treasure, man. Bring that out, King. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 133, from the top. Bring it Behold, out. Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. That's what you got out here tonight, man. All right, we're an example of that, man. We're showing our people that we can dwell together in unity, man. Week in and week out, when brothers gather together and they see us, we're showing our people, man, and our actions, man, that we can gather together in order, in unity, in righteousness, man. How you doing, brother? You got a couple minutes to the words of the Lord? Brother, you are Brother, that's, come on, brother. Jake just say anything that sounds good, man. You are the words of the Lord, brother. Come on, man. Right? Yahweh Shah is the word of the Lord, man. Right. right. Ah. All right, read that. You got something, King? Bring it out. Yes, sir. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. Bring, Bring it out. out. And ye shall know that I am the I am in the midst of Israel, and I, I and that I am the Lord. Your God and none else. What the Lord say? I, I am the Lord, Lord your God, God and none, none else. else. Our people don't believe that, man. All right, Pastor, don't read these scriptures to our people in the Bible. Right? Who is who is God's? Who is the 
the Lord the God of, man? Because he said he's not the God of nobody else but one people, man. All right, the Lord didn't flip the script and then change that up and say, you know what? I didn't mean that when I said that, man. Right? I'm everybody's God now. No, he said he's only the children of Israel. What's your nationality, King? You got, you got a couple minutes to the words of the Lord? Puerto Rican means rich port, man. That's right. The so-called white man called you that, man. That's right. How long are you going to continue to be simple, man? Right. Right? That's a, hey, that's the damn Ephraim with the damn Afro, yeah. man. Right. right. Wow. What do you say, boy? God. Yeah, man. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, uh, I called something. Let's sit on that, King. Nah. Go ahead. Like and my... I'm going to read from the top. Go ahead. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. out. And ye shall know that I am the in the midst of Israel, and that, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Right. And we're not ashamed about it. We bold, man. Huh? All right? We bold about it. We confident, man. All right? We're not confused about it. All right? Read that when I call. Isaiah 25. 25, 8, 25, 8 9. Book of Isaiah chapter 25, verse 8. Uh -huh. yeah. He will swallow up death and victory. Right. And the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from off all faces. Right, because our people are in mourning, man. Our people are always catching hell in America, man. We've been trotted down. We've been beat down. We've been lied to, man. All right? We've been destroyed as a people, man. To the point that we don't even believe in our God no more, man. Everything in this world is fake, man. Give me Hosea 4 what? Everything is fake, man. There's no truth here, man. All lies, man. Nothing but damn confusion in the land of Babylon, man. Our people don't know what the hell to believe in. They don't know what to go this way or to go that way, man. All right, so the Lord sent his servants out here in the last days, man, to come out and give our people understanding and to show them the way, man. That's right. Right? Bring it out, King. This is the book. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Oh, like and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. Right. For the Lord has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, right? and he will save us. Hey, we waited for the Lord, and he will save us, man. These are the days we're living in. You are literally living in the last days, man, where the Lord is going to do all the things that he promised, man. That's right. All right, all these words that are written in this Bible that are to come to pass, the Lord is going to perform it, man. That's right. All right, even the salvation of the children of Israel. All right, that strange salvation, man, right, that the Lord is about to bring unto the earth, man, followed with destruction, man, death, mourning, famine, right, pestilence, man. All these things come. Hey, brother, you got two minutes? Brother. You got two minutes, King? Two minutes. Can I talk brother. to you for two minutes? Two minutes. Yeah, man. I'll pray to the most high, man. I'll pray to the most high. Sorry, All right, we out here for you, bro. What's your name, King? Osiris. Osiris, my, my name brother Jonathan, man. What's up, brother? All right, and what we out here to do is, tell our people who they are in these last days. Come look on this sign right here. We got a chart right here. Tell me, do you see yourself on the sign? You come a little closer, King. We're not going to hurt you. I can see my brother. Where you, where you at on here, King? Judah. Judah, Judah right? I believe in Islam. You said what? I believe in Islam. All right, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Now, what, what would you call you? Would you call yourself an American black man? Uh, African. African, right? Yeah. All right, give me the give me the uh, Zondervan. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. That's right, brother. That's right. I ain't, I ain't got the other side. So I'm gonna show you something. How do we come to America? And then ancestors. And then ancestors. No, how do we get to America? Shit, I don't know. You ever heard of slave ships? Yeah. Slave ship. We came over here on slave ships, right? Yeah. You know about that history? About a year ago. Let me show you something. Read this real quick. Because you, you say you believe in Islam, so you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah, I got about 40 seconds left. You got about 40 seconds left? Yeah. All right, give me the book of Deuteronomy 2860. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Give me Deuteronomy 2860. And we're not African, brother. All, All right? right? Africans sold us to the so-called white man. All right. All right? All right? We're not Hamites. We're different from them people. Just because you dark skin don't mean you're African. We're the Israelites. All right? Read that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 from the top. Go ahead. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Uh-huh. So these are the words Moses is speaking to the Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. And what does the Quran tell you about the Bible? I just, 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 I
convert this year. See that? I'll praise to the most high. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. And, and, and the Arabs had us in slavery too. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. You ever heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? Nah. Those are Israelites being enslaved by the Arabs. Why would you follow an Arab religion? That's not the way, brother. All right, read that. Look at Deuteronomy. Because the Arabs don't, won't tell you you're a king. Yeah. The Arabs are not going to tell you who you are. All right, going you still think you're African American even though you went to Islam. Yeah. That's only one way, brother. Read that. Let me John 14, 6. Read that. Deuteronomy 20 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Lord told the children of Israel, after he delivered them out of the captivity under the pharaohs and the Egyptians, he delivered us with a mighty hand. He said, if you break my commandments, the Lord gave us laws and commandments as a covenant that he made with our people. If you break my commandments, I'm going to put these curses on you. This is how we know that we are. We're going to read one curse. Deuteronomy 28, 68. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. Get out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, the Lord just told the Israelites, they just walked out of Egypt. They walked in and walked out. They never went back into Egypt. But the Lord is saying, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Give me Exodus 20 and 2. Read right, that Exodus. Quick, that's that's hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on, read. Right, read. read. Exodus read. 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with slavery and bondage. So the Lord is saying he's going to bring us into another slavery. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. We're going to go into slavery again on ships. Did we come over here on slave ships? That didn't happen in the Bible. This is a future prophecy that was going to happen to the Israelites, not Africa. You don't read about Africans in the Bible. Go ahead. By the way where I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Have and we seen our homeland again? Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be what? You so shall sold be sold unto, unto your enemies. Weren't we sold to the white man? Yeah. We were sold on auction slave blocks, right? And the Lord said these people are your enemies. So we were sold to white people. These are our enemies. That's why they told you you was black. African American, that's why they give you Christianity, that's why they give you white Jesus, that's why they give you Islam and the damn rock. All right, we serve the most high power, man. Give me Psalm 97, man. Why would you join a religion and worship a rock, a dead rock, man? All right, last one, bring that out. Look at Psalm chapter 97, give me uh, Proverbs 20 and 24, go ahead. Look at Psalm chapter 97, verse seven. Confounded be all they that serve. No, no, Psalm 96 and five, 96 and four. Book of Psalm chapter 96, verse 4. Bring it out. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. So the Most High Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. Read. He is to be feared above all gods. He's to be what? Feared, feared above, above all, all gods. gods. He's to be what? Feared, feared above, above all gods. gods. We got many gods. But the Most High Power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, is to be feared among all gods. Read. For all the gods of the nations are idols. All the gods of the nations are idols. The Arabs God is a rock, a Kaaba stone that they bow down to and worship in Mecca. That's Islam. The Lord said that's a rock that's not going to save you, man. That's what right. can a damn rock do for you? Our power split the damn sea, destroyed the Egyptians, man. Our uh. God is coming to destroy the so-called white man and put him in slavery, man. That's uh. right. right. Uh. If you wake the hell up and repent, the Lord is going to set you up as a king. Man, they put a crown right. on your head, man. Right, right. right. You gotta right. tell you a king, man. That's you got right. a damn uh. nigga walking down the street with headphones on, just being a nigga in America, man. Right. You're more than that. Right. And the Lord is getting ready to bring judgment in the earth. If you do not repent, if you just walk down the street like you didn't hear the men of the Lord today, the Lord is going to kill you with your enemy. That's right. Uh -huh. Two thirds of our people will die by nuclear fire if they don't return to the Lord and repent. Right. Somebody get a brother a flyer. Yeah, yeah, you can bring it out. This is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Bring it out. Man's goings are of the Lord. What the Lord say? Man's, Man's goings are of the Lord. Lord. Hey, this brother ain't think he was going to stop today. The Lord ordered your steps up here today to hear the word, man. Right. To That's find right. out who you are. That you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, man. Right. That's right. That's right. right. And your God looked like you. He's a black man. Right. That's right. right. He's not a damn white man. Ain't no white man coming out the sky to save nobody, man. Mm -hmm. That's why right. people in the Islam. All right, we don't believe that, man. Right. And a right. white man finna come save you, man. Right. But the Bible don't say that, man. Give me Revelations 1 and 14, man. All right, this image that they gave us, that they gave to the slaves to destroy us, man. And a lot of our people think this is the white man book. So they favor the Quran, the unholy Quran, man. All right, this is a man named Caesar Borges, man. Right, your grandma probably prayed to this. She probably had it in the house, man. Right? 
While we was in slavery being beat up by the white man, while the police shooting us in the street, we praying to a white man, white Jesus, man. All right, read that, King. Revelations 1 and 1. This is the book of Revelations, chapter... Oh, this is a lot. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. Start at 1. Start at 1. It's a lot. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Hamashiach Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shah. All right, this is the revealing of this man. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh-huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Right. Who bear record of who the what? word. Who what? Who bear record, record So that was word. a record level. And we're going to read the account of our Lord and our Savior. Jump down to verse 10. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, to verse 10. Right? This is the revelation that came to John the Revelator on the island of Patmos. All right? Read that. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John was in the spirit on the Lord's day. On the Sabbath day. Go ahead. And heard behind me a great voice. Right? If you hear a voice behind you, what you going to do? You're going to turn around. Right? So he turned around. Read. As if a trumpet. Right? Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The mm. first and the last. Right? Because he was the first creation, man. Go ahead. And what thou seest, write in a book. So he told John, <laughs> whatever you see, write it in a book. Because they told us it don't matter. Now that we know the truth, and we telling our people, this is the devil the Bible speak of. Right. The white huh. man is the devil the Bible speak of. Right. And right. the Lord looks like us. They say it don't matter what he look like now. But for all these years, we had this white man in the damn house. Nobody, nobody said nothing. It didn't matter. Right? Well, the Lord said, write this down for a record. Read and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, uh -huh. unto Ephesus, and unto uh, Cymeris, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatria, and unto Sardia, and Philadelphia, and unto Lodos. You can jump down, King. So he just, he's sending these, this uh, record to the seven churches. Go ahead. And I turned to see the voices a lot. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So he turned around to see who it was that was speaking to him. Go ahead. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So he saw the Son of Man. All right, the Messiah, the Savior of the nation of Israel. Man. Go ahead. Clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had a garment down to a foot, man. With a golden girdle on. Hey, you never see white Jesus with a golden girdle on, man. No, All right, this, this don't even sound like a white man. Hey, we drip like that, man. Right. So the Lord right. had on a golden girdle. Hey, you know he was clean, man. God. That's how we get out, man. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. And hey, this man got straight, stringy, blonde hair. But the Bible says the, the Lord's hair was white in color, right? Just like the um, elder right there. You see the elder's beard? See how it's white? So the Lord's hair was white. And the texture was woolly. Right. Like, yo, that's wool. Come. This is not wool. This is string. Go ahead. As white as snow. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. Really? And his feet like unto fine grass. And his feet. Like you got on sandals on like the Lord had on sandals. So I can see your skin tone. Now it's dealing with your color. His feet was like grass. Like a penny. This man not grass. This man is pale, peachy, red, and pink. Right. right. All right. right. Let's see how dark he was, Rick. As if they burn in a furnace. What the Lord say? As, As if, if they, they burn, burn in a furnace. furnace. Brother, if you take anything and burn it in a furnace, what color is it? Very dark. So who the hell is this? So the Lord literally looked like you, brother. That's right. right. And he's coming to save you, man. God. Give me the book of Matthew 1 and 21. Bring it out, out. Give me Matthew 15 24, man. Quick on the sword. Book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Gotta be quick for the brother Lee. Read. And she shall bring forth a son. Uh-huh. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And they don't teach us this in church. She shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Yahweh Shai. Read. For he shall save his people. All people. His, his people. people. He's gonna save his people. Who is his people, brother? Everybody should be asking who is his people, because these people need to be saved, right? Right. That's Does right. the white man need to be saved? Nope. Lie. Or is he living in his kingdom? Right. Who needs to be? We need to be saved, man. That's we need right. to be saved from being homeless on the streets, man. Come. From robbing each other, man. From not knowing who we are, man. 
or even being trodden down by the white man. Our nationality being changed every 10 years. We was Afro-American, we was niggas, we was Negro. Then we was African, we didn't become African until the 1980s. Uh, Who the hell were we before the 1980s, brother? Uh, you see that? We need to be saved. Uh, for Read? America. For he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people from their sins, man. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 3 and verse 10. All right? No, you can give me just Jordan 2 and 6, Matthew 2 and 6. Let's see who his people are. Because we just proved to you that you are Israelite. We're the children of Israel. We're the only <laughs> people on the earth that went into slavery on ships. Come. All right, you can go through history. Nobody else can say that. We're the only ones fit that curse. All right, go ahead. Look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Come on. And now Bethlehem and the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Who is his people? Israel. He's right. coming to save the Israelites. That's right. Give me Luke 1 and 68, man. This is Give me this Romans is Luke 13, 11. chapter 1, verse 68. Great. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Uh-huh. The God of who? God of Israel. The God of who? The God, God of Israel. Hey, King, can you bring that precept out you called early? Joel 2 and 27. I think that's... Go ahead. For he have visited and redeemed his people. All people. His, his people. people. The Lord is only dealing with one nation of people all throughout the Bible. There's only one people in the earth that needs salvation and need to be saved. The ones that's in the ghettos and the slums. Right. And when you think about the ghetto, it's us. So-called black, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian. All right, that's why you got the white man neighborhood. Right? What is the white man neighborhood? Why is there a so-called white man side of town? Right? Right? Read. So the and God of Israel, read. God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we should be saved from our enemies. That what? We, we should, should be, be saved, saved from, from our, our enemies. enemies. We, we need to be, the Lord is coming to save us from an enemy. We just read we were sold into our enemy. Who is our enemy? The white man, the one that's killing you. That's right. right. The ones that Come. set up mass incarceration, man. All right? The ones that send our own people over here on bikes to monitor us, man. That's right. Uh -huh. All right, to <coughs> watch us, man. And we teach out here every week. You see they put the gate up. You know why they put this gate up, brother? They don't want us out here. Cause they don't want us to wake you up. Cause if you wake up and you get right, brother, guess what? They done. Right. That's right. That's right. He's coming to destroy this place, man. All right, read that, King. Joel 2 and 27. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and Give verse 27. 14 Bring it out, huh? And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Right. And that I am the Lord your God. Uh-huh. And none else. Wait, he said he's in the midst of us, brother. And he's the Lord our God and none else. These other nations, they got idols. They don't have a real God. He's only our God. Right. Give me Amos 3 and 2. Amos 3 and 2 real quick. You may say, if he's all God, why we get destroyed? Why we on the bottom? Why we go through slavery? Why is the white man allowed to do this to us, man? Why we can't never rise up, man? All right, read that. This is the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 2. Start at 1. Verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Because the Lord said, you listen to King? The Lord said he only knows us and all the people That's that right. he created. Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you. Brother, for, brother, you, for all... okay. you got a flyer? Yeah, here we go. All right, brother. All right, brother. Yo, watch out, Ak. Yeah, you got to watch out, man. Yeah. All right, so, hey, man, sometime, man, you got to plant the seed, man. Right. Oh, Give me Romans 8 and 16, man. Right? Sometimes you got to kind of stir up Jake's spirit. Jake, might, you might can't get through the curses all the time, man. Right? Give me Romans 8 and 16, man. Book of Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Bring it out. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. Yeah, the brother had said he had 40 seconds, man. He kind of couldn't leave, kind of stuck, man. Right. Look right. at right. Jeremiah 10 and 23, man. Right. And the Lord, he was kind of intrigued, man. You never heard this before, man. Right. Say, well, big yeah. mama, she got the Bible and the grips. Yeah, Nobody never told me this, got man. His mom, you know, I've been like, to church, man. And at the hotel, they got the little Gideon Bible in the drawer. You know, you kind of, kind of you know it, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right? Nobody never broke it down like that, man. Uh, right. Right? Go ahead. God. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And we are the children of the Most High, man. God. And what's the spirit, man? Give me, get John 6 and 63. You got Jeremiah? Yeah, Hold that. John 6 and 63. Hey, the spirit, that's why we read, man. That's why they don't want us to read the Bible, man. We don't got, we're not out here with AK 47s, man. Uh, we're not out here selling down uh, weed. Uh, we're not selling dope to our people, man. Uh, All right, we're not hurting nobody, man. Uh, it's this word, it's a double edged sword, man. And they hate the truth, man. Uh, the devil hate the truth. 
Because Satan knows his time is short. Right. He knows this. And he's trying to preserve his time, man. All right, go ahead, read that. This is the book of okay, St. John, chapter 6, verse 63. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get it, get it, get it. It is the nah, spirit that... Read that. Book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. It's the spirit that quickened it, meaning to make you alive. The flesh profiteth nothing. Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. It's the words that we speak. They are spirit and they are life, man. Right? All right, his spirit was kind of, it got, our people got spirits on them. So he was literally watching his brother battle his flesh. Something is pulling him away, but the spirit kind of had him there. Sometimes you plant the seed and it's up to the Lord to get an increase. It ain't got nothing to do with us, man, right? So that may be just what it needs for the Lord to water and it grow later, man. You never know, man. He may go check the videos out, man. He might kind of get into this thing, man. Right. Right? Or not. Okay, but we did our job. Read that. Look at Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. Right? Because if it was up to this brother, he would have left in 40 seconds. Right. Right. Hey, he wouldn't have came up here. Hey, the way of man is not in itself, man. Go ahead. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Right. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to, to nothing. Right. So sometimes, man, the Lord will put a spirit on the brother just to come up here and hear a little bit, man. And it kind of happened with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't kind of just dive right into the thing immediately, man. You know? So I'll pray to the most high. Bring out what I'm talking This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold. How you doing, King? You got to come into the word? Well, brother, unfortunately, we have to tell you that you have to man up and you can't be feminine, right? That's right. You got to man up. While you sitting out right. here preaching, I, I make more than you're doing. Like and the Lord not dealing with that, man. Nah, the Lord is going to burn him with your money, man. And you're not making no money. Check to keep making money in the world. Read that, man. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Ain't you know, nothing worse than a damn effeminate homosexual statement, man. They're going to like... How you doing, King? You got a couple minutes of the words of the Lord? You know all about it, brother. What's the name, brother? Where your friends, brother? You say you know all about the word. Where your friends? Right here, brother. Yeah. 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 Right here, right so brother, you should come Give here. Two minutes, right brother. Right two minutes, two minutes, brother. Right here, right here. Right this here. is the organ that pumps blood, and I this know. is your mind that stinks. But you got them around here. I don't right. Give me I numbers 1530. Right I'm going to show you why. We got them right here. I know why you got them right here. Why do I got them right here? Because the book says you got to have them, right? Right. But why? But do you need them? But why? Yeah. Why you need them? Because the Lord really? said it. That's right. Huh. So I'm you yeah. keep Give me John 14 and 15. I'm going to show you something, King. The world's best kept secret. I'm First of all, you're an Israelite. Don't be proud, bro. Hey, the Lord is, what's your nationality? No, I got one. Brother, everybody, ha everybody descends from a seed of a man. That's There's right. no way you can the say you don't have one. The lemons, oranges. It's all my seeds, right? Right. Right, so an orange is an orange, right. and an apple is an apple. I'm a man. So who are you? I'm a man, you a man. But you got many men, and the Lord created nations of people. Right. So which nation in the Bible do you come from? Hey, How? 18, 18. No, it's 18 nations. Are the Moabites the same as the, the damn Canaanites? No, they're not. Right. So, brother, who are you? You're talking about African. I know who brother, I am. Brother, where is African in the Bible? There's no African. The Lord, the creator of Africa. That's why I'm telling you. You think you know about this book, but you don't. Why do you think we out here? You All think right. we just woke up one day, brother? Brother, we've been lied to. We have not learned this Bible. And you're living in the last days. And you're going to be destroyed if you reject the word, brother. All right. right. Huh. I ain't rejecting no word. All right, brother, give me two minutes. Two minutes, brother. Just two. Just you already two. been here okay, three minutes. Two minutes. Give me Deuteronomy one and one. Bring it out. Give me Deuteronomy one and one. I'll pray to the Thanks most high. Thanks for being home. Give me Deuteronomy one and one. Quick, 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 quick. Deuteronomy 20, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the out. words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These are the words that Moses spake unto the Israelites. He's not talking to everybody. You had many nations during this time. Give me Deuteronomy 20, 20, 20. How do we? How do we get to America, King? How do we get here? Right, slave ships. Why? Why did that happen to us? Disobedient. Disobedient to what? Not keeping the word. Not keeping what? The, law. the commandment, right? Yeah. So you so you know you're Israelite. I know it. So why did you why did you deny it? I ain't denying it. So why didn't you say I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Jew, brother? How do you know what tribe you Because of the because it's of the problem. Well, well it don't matter. It don't matter uh, what tribe. Uh, so you're an Israelite. I know it. Alright, so what did the Lord tell the Israelites? Uh, Give me 
do I'm in 10 and 12. So as an Israelite, this is what you got to do. Give me Psalms 119.59. Bring it on. I'm not going to waste no time. Read that. Book of Deuteronomy. Psalms 5 and 7. 10 and 12. And now Israel. What now who? Israel. Israel. You Israel. He's talking to you. Read. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? The Lord requires something of you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways and to love him. If you fear the Lord, you're going to walk in all his ways and you're going to love him because the fear of the Lord is keeping the commandments. Read. Right. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. To, to keep, keep the commandments, commandments of the Lord. So you got to keep the commandments. Read that, King. Read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Lord told the children of Israel to make fringes in the borders of their garment. Right. Read. Throughout their generation. How long? Throughout, Throughout their, their generation. generation. How long? Throughout their generation. Now when Christ come, we ain't got to do it no more. Throughout, Throughout their generation. Are we still generating and making babies? Are we still in the land of our captivity? Right. Have we? Have the Lord came and delivered us yet? No. So we still have to do these things. Come Read. It's a lot. Throughout the generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. That's why our brothers got different color fringes, but we all got a ribbon of blue. We didn't just make that up. The Lord told us to do that. All right, we lost this to slavery. Now the Lord is giving us back, giving us this back through the Spirit before He brings destruction. You living in the last days. Bring that out. Book of Leviticus, chapter twenty-one, verse five. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. The Lord said the children of Israel, that the Egyptians can do it so-called white man can do it, but the Israelites are not permitted to make their hand bald. Now, if your hair falling out, that's one thing, right? but you can't take a razor and shave your head off. That's against the most high. Read. That? Read again. Do it say, do it say take a razor? Read again. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So where the corners at? Say what? So where the corners at? Read again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. They shall not make baldness right. upon their head. You made baldness upon your head. How you know that? Because I'm looking at you, brother. Sure. How, you know, how you know I made baldness on my head? I'm look did you, brother? You can correct me. Did I, did I do what? Correct me. You can correct Don't be proud. No, no, no. I, no. What did I do? Tell me what I did. You made baldness upon how your you head. How you know what I did? Same correct me. Huh? Correct me. Did I, I, I can take correction. Did I shave my head? No, I'm saying if I'm wrong, Correct me. Okay. You're an elder, you can correct me, and I'll stand correct and I'll apologize. The elders are what? 30 to 50, right? No, I'm just I'm just okay. telling you if I'm wrong to correct me, brother. Okay. That's your job. Your duty is to correct me. Am I wrong, brother? Uh, wrong what? Did you did you make your head bald? I didn't make my head bald. So how'd it get like that? I shine. It's old. I've been bald since I was 22. I don't grow hair. I have no hair. All right, brother, I apologize, brother. Can you forgive me, brother? You forgive yourself. You don't need my forgiveness. Come on, brother. You Come forgive, on, brother. Come on, now. Come on, brother. You, you ain't offended me. It's a law, man. All right, brother. Well, that's good. I'll pray. His brother I got to forgive you, good. brother. All right, all right, all right. Read that. This is John chapter 17, verse 6. Bring it out. I have manifest thy name. No, no, that ain't what I call. Oh, Sirach. Sirach 5. This is Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. So, brother, you know you're Israelite. You know you got to keep the commandments, brother. Don't you know don't tarry. Don't tarry. Don't. How you know? Brother, you keep it. Brother, you keep the commandments. How you know I'm not keeping? Brother, you keep the commandments. How you know I'm not keeping? I'm asking you, brother. You, don't don't be contentious, brother. No, I'm not being contentious. You yeah. asking about the commandments. Right. Do you do you eat pork, brother? No, I don't eat no pork. Okay, I'll pray. Do you eat shellfish? No, no. Okay, then. No, no. Do you eat swine? All right. So, brother, you gonna get your friends? No, I don't need no friends. My well, brother, I give, me, right give, me, give me give um, me Proverbs 28 and 9. I got it right here. Proverbs, give me in your heart. In my heart and my mind. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. He said, I'm going to give you something new. Did he say that? This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. What the Lord say? The heart is deceitful above all things. Your heart is just an organ that pumps blood. If you put the word in your mind, and I, and I know my mind is keeping it. So you talking about the new covenant? What new covenant? That's right, that's right, that's right. So you in the new covenant? Give me, give me Hebrews 8 and 8. I'm going to show you something about the new covenant. Bring, Bring it out. Because the white man told us we was in the this new covenant. This is Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8. That's Christianity. Read. I ain't in no Christianity. Read. We're finding fault. You're not in Christianity, but that, that your mind, the way you're talking and thinking, that comes from Christianity. Read. For finding fault with them, he said, behold, the days come, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. So this is the new covenant. He right. will. Make and a new covenant with the house of Israel. With who? With, with the, the house, house of, of Israel. Israel. 
and with the house of Judah. Read. Not according to the covenant that so, I made with their father. Hold on, almost done. Not according to the covenant that he made with oh, his father. Yeah. Go ahead. In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. Because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, says uh -huh. the Lord. Read. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. He's going to put the laws into their mind, read. And write them in their hearts. And he's going to write them in our hearts. Meaning what? If you had, if you had, if you had, hold on. If you had the, if you had the law, heart, okay. Right? If you, because there are no more sacrifices, right? Right. 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 If, right. Okay, because, hold on. Because, because they are let losing, right? I got, no, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you, I'm going to okay. let you break okay. it down. Go ahead. I just want to finish this. Go ahead. If you had the laws in your mind and in your heart, brother, you would have your friends. It ain't no commandment to keep no friends. Okay, we just read a commandment. No, you didn't. Read, read, you read. Four, you talking about Exodus. You talking about the, the Levitical, right? That's the law, right? Right. That's the law. Not the sacrificial, right? That, the sacri We're not talking about sacrifice. I know that. We're talking about friends. I know that. It don't got nothing to do with sacrifice. We're talking about the uh, dietary, right? Well, right now we're talking about the new covenant. Read and I will be to them a God, right? and they shall be to me a people. Uh -huh. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother say, know the Lord. Wait a minute, in the new covenant, you're not gonna have to teach nobody to know the Lord. Do everybody know the Lord right now? No, people still have to learn about the Lord, read. For all shall know me. For what? For, For all, all shall, shall know me. me. For what? For, For all, all shall know me. Do everybody know the Lord, man? La -la. We just seen a brother just walk by, he didn't know nothing about the Bible. That's him. Right, but the Lord said in the new covenant, everybody's going to know him. Look, if you need to wear friends, just wear your friends. No, brother, you said you was in the new covenant. But the Bible says when we, you're going to know him. He in the new said covenant. in your heart and your mind. I'm gonna put we it passed in your that right now. Well, but that's what but the said. Lord said every, when you got it in your heart and your mind, then you're going to be perfect. So it's your covenant. Then you're not going to be able heart, to break right? the commandment because everybody's going to know the Lord. Everybody don't know the Lord right now. So by default, you're not in the new covenant yet. Right, right. The Lord ain't even came back yet. Come right, right. Read. read. For Come. all shall know me from the least to the greatest. All's going to know him from the least to the greatest. For read. I will be merciful to the unrighteous, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. How's, how are we in a new covenant if we still getting dying? So let me ask we you still this. getting shot in the streets. We still in the ghettos in the slums. So the Lord me, said in the new covenant, he's not going to remember our so sins no more. let me no ask y'all this. Do y'all believe in multiple wives? Brother, that's neither here nor uh, there. Uh, 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 that's, neither here, that's neither here nor there, brother. Question. Yes, you, brother. You do? Yes. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can y'all take a woman and take care of them all? If you got two or Brother, three. I don't got multiple no, wives. No, that's not what but I But it's lawful, though. Right. Yeah, it's lawful. It's lawful, but, but it's not expedient. Okay. Yeah. I could. I could. You could do it. But I choose not to. Okay. Because right. okay. it's not expedient for me. Okay. So but it's lawful. Kingdom. If you have multiple wives, yeah. I couldn't condemn you so because it's not a sin. So let me ask you this. If a man lay with a woman, is that his wife? Yes. Yes. Says what? Exodus 22, 16. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. Exodus 22, 16. I'm going to show you. We're going to go to the Lord to show you. I'm going I'm to show you. Look at Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her. He has sex with her, right? right? He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgin. So what if dad don't give it to him? So let me ask, so let me ask you this: When when Adam and he got to pay a dowry, brother. What you talking okay, about? Okay, okay. So when Adam slept with uh, uh, Eve, was that his wife? Yes, brother. Automatically? Yes. yes. No, it said he we went into. Brother, you done flipped the whole no, script. No, no, right. no, 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 no. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. What I'm, what I'm saying is something got to be in place for it to be a marriage. All right, all right, brother. We don't want to debate. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. We don't want to debate. Say. We don't want to debate about. We can, brother. We can go through that, brother. You don't understand. You don't understand that. What we, what we trying to deal with? I'm just saying, y'all. We trying to. Hold on. We trying to deal with your understanding, brother. I got some understanding. Okay, brother. Don't be proud, brother. Ain't ain't about being so proud. So do you, do you agree that you're not in a new covenant yet? I'm not in a new covenant. Okay. All, all praise to the Most High. So we're not in a new covenant yet. Can we waiting for the new covenant? So, so right now, right now we under grace. 
as what is Give me Titus 2. I'm going to show you. Give me grace Titus 2 and 11. The blood of Jesus, right? No. No. Yes. Grace. The blood. Grace came by the blood of Jesus. That's right. But that's not what it is. But it ain't an no automatic you. thing, right? I'm going to show you. So once you get it, you got it. Is, it you is automatic. Grace you, got is, the, grace, you got to accept it, right? If you're an Israelite, it's automatic. <clears throat> What about um? What about Solomon? Is Solomon is Solomon? Is Solomon, no. Solomon was before. Come on, brother. Solomon was come before. On, man. Solomon, hold on, brother. Come on. We trying to. Come on, now. come on, brother. Read this. Book I'm gonna tell you what grace is. Book of Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Bring it out. Right? For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Read. Right. Teaching. Do a what? Teaching. What is grace? Teaching. teaching. What is it supposed to do? Teaching. Teaching. It's a teacher, read. Us that denying ungodliness. To do what? Un 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 denying ungodliness. ungodliness. So grace is supposed to teach us to deny ungodliness. That's right. Read. And worldly lust. And what? Worldly, and worldly lust. lust. And worldly lust. Go ahead. We should live soberly. Righteously and godly in the present world. So what does it mean to live soberly? Because it's supposed to teach us to live righteous. What does it mean to live righteous? That means you walk in the truth. Right. And what's the truth, King? The commandments. Right, brother. So you understand this. But the fringes is not a commandment. Come on, brother. You fight. The fringes, Come on, brother. Come on, brother. We're going to go Can back we to the fringes. We're going to show you why it's I important. The salve, I do all that. All right, this is going to explain the fringes. Wow. So it's just the fringes for you. Go on, go on, right, this right, is right. Numbers chapter 15, verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments. Hold on, the friend is help you remember all this, so you won't be out here talking about I don't need it. though. I, I got the commandments here. Brother, we just we just read. We don't got it. And we all don't we? The brothers out here go off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We go yeah. off still, so we yeah, still we need it. Off. We need that reminder. I don't. I got it. Brother, Proud. the Lord said to do it. So if God said do it, who am I to say I don't need the Lord? Even if you don't need it, you should do it because God said. It. Okay. So we have to fear the Lord. Go ahead. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And what? And, and do, do them. them. And do them. The Lord just had to kill a brother for picking up sticks. So the Lord said, I'm gonna give y'all a reminder. And He said throughout your generation, if we're still generating and populating and making babies, we have to do this, King. And brothers like you holding back the kingdom because you you got, you got, you got to understand. I'm not holding back. All right, read that. Uh, did did, did, did Yahweh shy? You believe in Christ? Yes. Did he wear fringes? Do you no, follow he, him? No, he didn't wear no fringes. Brother, what? he didn't did wear, he wear fringes? fringes? Read that. Uh, Book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 20. Bring it out, huh? And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Touch the what? Touch the, the hem, hem of his, his garment. What did Christ have on? Touch, Touch the, the hem of his, his garment. garment. Touched his fringes, brother. Brother, what is a hem? The Bible that's true. We're gonna get it right now. <laughs> Bring it out. Huh. Somebody got that? Hem. Hem of a garment. Fringes. What? Fringes. What that's right. Hem? Fringes. What did Christ wear? Fringes. fringes. What do we who do we follow? Y'all was shot. That's why we got our fringes. Shot. On. That's right. So follow the Lord. Give me John 14 and 15. Or tassels on the borders of the Jewish outer garment. See that? So he had on a fringe, brother. All right. So you gotta, you gotta do it. Yeah, I wish I even did. Read that. Look at. Hey, I'll praise the Lord. All praises, man. Yeah. Let me tell you how. We're saying for the marriage though, we know. Let me tell you how I shot. Give me that, Matthew. Hold on, we got, we got, right. I mean, Matthew, uh, five, uh, well, yeah, how was shot broke it down? I'm saying is some had to be in place. Let me do it around the 18 and 15. I'm going to explain it. Because they say Adam took his wife and he went to Eve. That's in Genesis. Yeah, 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 bring it up. You got it? You can bring that up. He can. Listen to this, King. I'm, 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 I'm going to bring some understanding to that. Because you, you right about what you said. Yeah. All right, now read this. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 31. Bring it out. It has been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saying for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her, that is divorced, committeth adultery. Right. 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 So, I want, it's another one I wanted. Well, how was y'all said? Is that it? Yeah, now, okay, read that. Book Let's of Matthew, read. chapter uh, 19, verse 8. <clears throat> he said unto them, Moses, because the hardness of your heart suffered. Moses, because the hardness of their hearts, read. Suffered you to put away your wives. 
But from the beginning, it was not so. But from the beginning, it wasn't so. Go ahead. And I say unto you, whosoever, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. So now, you can't put away your wife. That's right. Right. But so, that's so if you married to her, though. Huh? This is, it's something got to be like a... Zero. Give me Genesis 24, 6 and 7. Bring it out, right? Uh, Give me Genesis 24, 6 and 7. This is the book of Genesis, chapter uh, 20, 24, 24, 67. And Isaac brought her into his mother, Sarah's tent. So Isaac took Rebecca into his Sarah's tent. Go ahead. And took Rebecca, and she became his wife. And she what? And, and she, she became, became his, his wife. wife. What happened in that tent when, when they became his wife? Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Yeah. When they went in that tent, did they have a marriage ceremony? Did he, did he kind of right. put out the paperwork? He gave diary, though. Huh? Did he give the diary? We, yes, I, we, that's that's not here, no there. Ah, it is. No, it's not, brother. Come on, you talking about Hold the book, right? Hold on, when they went into the tent, read it again. Come on. Read and again. Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebecca, and she became his wife. So before all that, she didn't become his wife until they went in that tent. Right. right. What did huh. do before that, though? It don't matter. It don't matter. Read it again, one more time. And Isaac Listen. brought her into his mother Sarah's what, tent. Whatever happened before that, at this point, he's bringing her to his mother's tent, read. And took Rebecca, and she became and his she wife. And she became, what? what? His wife. That? She became, she but wasn't his wife before that. That's right. Right, but so she did, wasn't his wife. No, didn't when something Hold on. Come on. She didn't become his wife. The point is, sex is marriage, brother. Right. You can't just lay down with anything. You can't just, what about with Adam and Eve? Adam, what about Adam and Eve? Who read what he's saying? He said he took his and wife. And then he went into his wife. Right. 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 So something had to she happen. Was, right. She was made. So something had to flesh. happen before him to, for her to be the wife. Yeah. The Lord already. The Lord gave her. So they gave him her married. to be his wife. So they was already married before he stepped up. Brother, that's that's the bag. <laughs> look, at, look at it. Read it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Just read it. I, I yeah, didn't make it up. You know, it's a book of Jesus, chapter you, 30. What, what, what about the lady? I, I got what about the lady um when, when he called her out? He said, You got five. What do you say? She, you got five husbands. Right. Because you know she was sleeping around with different every time she had sex, that man is your Because sex is marriage. How you know it? How you know that? Because we don't the, uh, the law. Read that. Yeah, all right. All right. I'm scared. Read that. Hold I on, can see, I can see it again. I can yeah. see it again. Right, right. So we we wasn't taught that, brother. We was taught that. So you can just lay down without sleep. Right. You can go sleep right now. But the only reason why. But, but why? No, no man. You don't do that, that brother. Right. Because it's not not taught that. Right. Right, right, right. That's all we agree with that. But if you lay down with the wife that two minutes, it's not paperwork, brother. It's two minutes. You literally become one flesh when you enter into the woman. The Lord said it's not taking it. Sex, is, sex actually consummates the marriage. Adam was already married to Eve before he stepped Brother, we just, we just dealt with I'm that. I'm just telling you, that's what the book says. Read that. That's this cool. is the book of Genesis, chapter 32, I mean 38, verse 2. Right? There was, a, uh, there he saw a Canaanite woman, the daughter of Shua, and he married her when he slept with her. Damn. Ah, that's mm -hmm. that's Woo. Damn. What that say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it out. See, brother, Genesis 38 and uh, two. 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 I got y'all got. You see that, man? I know. Gotta get them fringes, man. And stop the lane on with them sisters, man. I'll praise the most high, brother. All right there. I'll praise you, man. That's right, you're right, bro. Give me Isaiah 64 and 6. Isaiah 64 and 6. This is Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. Go ahead. But we are all as unclean things. But, hey, we are all as an unclean thing. Read. And all our, our righteousness are as filthy rags. And all our right, righteousness, even a good, even us putting these fringes on, not good enough. We all filthy rags. Right. Go ahead. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. That's why the Lord and our Savior is so important. He's everything to us. But to, we have to keep the commandments. Joe and the faith. Because we show our faith. There you go. That's right. Right? But we clean through Yahweh's eyes. That's right. So to honor him and show our faith, 
faith without works is dead. I mean, it's dead. So we show our faith in that we believe by keeping the commandments to the best of our ability. We have to trust. We can't just give up and say it's in my heart. That won't be an excuse. The Lord is going to kill two thirds of us. Only one third is going to make it. It's a tight race, man. All right, give me that in second Ezra. Oh, hey, read that. Uh, the video. Second Edges chapter 8, verse 1. Bring it out, right? And he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many. So the Lord has made this world for many, man. Right? All right, this is the so called white man, the so called Moabite. All right, the so called other nation. This is their world. And some of our people transgress against the Lord and reject the truth to partake in that enemy's world. Right. So this is made for many, read. But the world to come for few. But the world that's coming next, it's only a few gonna make it. Wow. All right, it's a small number. Give me second Ezra six and nine. Go ahead. Three. Three. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Yes, I mean, the Lord made a lot of people, but only few of us are gonna be saved. All right? Give me um, second Ezra nine and uh, seven. This is second Ezra chapter nine, verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved. And everybody that shall be saved, brother, read. And shall be able to escape by his work. By what? By, by his, his work. We're going to escape by the works. The Lord has we angels, hope. and these angels, you. these angels are taking account you. of our labor. Right. Right. <clears throat> right. Read it again. And Read it again. And every and every one that shall be saved. Everybody that shall be saved, whoever they are. We don't know if we're gonna make it, right. but right. we got faith and we believe. Okay. We're making our calling the election sure because we believe, brother. Right. All right, That's go ahead. Right. Shall be able to escape by his works brother, and by we're faith. We're going to escape by our works and what? And by faith. By works and faith. We can't just say it's in our heart and we believe. Give me some, um uh First Samuel two and three. Go ahead. Whereby ye have believed. Where what? Whereby, Whereby ye have, have believed. believed. So you show you believe by your works. Faith and works go hand in hand. You right. got to do what God said. That's, That's right. the one thing that we didn't do that got us in this situation. Uh, so wow. what we must do to come back, we got to start doing it now. Read. Shall be preserved from the said peril. Because we know the perils, the plagues are coming. That famine, pestilence, That's all right. manner of, of evil is coming to the <clears> earth. <throat> Hey, the prophet Habakkuk say, man, he wish he was asleep during that time. That's right. Yeah, he was right. terrified. The things that we're about to witness in this earth, brother, is going to be like yeah, nothing yeah. we've ever seen. All right? Yeah. Read that. Second Samuel. Time. Right. First Samuel 2 and 3. Oh, second. First Samuel. Right. It's the book right, of First Samuel, on. chapter 2 and verse 3. Read it out, huh? Talk no more so exceeding proudly. So he kind of came up proud. I got it. The Lord said, talk no more so exceeding proudly, man. And we all, we all had that spirit on us, man. Oh, we was right. proud. We thought we knew everything. All right, but the Lord said no more. Go ahead. Let not thy arrogance come out of your mouth. Let not arrogancy come out of thy mouth, man. Don't be arrogant. Don't become before the man of the Lord. We up here with, in order. The book's wide open, man. Right? And you trying to tell us, man. Go ahead. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord is a God of knowledge, man. He know everything already. Right? Go ahead. And by him, actions are weighed. And by the Lord, actions are weighed. The Lord is trying to see what we're going to do, man. All right? And all praise to the most high that the brother humble down. For be the Lord's will, and the brother get some understanding and come all the way into this thing, man. Right. Right. We can't be lukewarm, man. Right. Give me the book of Revelation 3 and 15. We got two minutes to move. Revelation 2 and 15. Okay. 3 and 15. He got it. Revelation 3 and 15. Book of Revelation 3 verse 15. Go ahead. I know that works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Hey, brothers like that, man. Right? He know he's an Israelite. He kind of, he tried to avoid it, man. You know, he tried to wiggle around it, try to get up the block, and it kind of came out. Brother, I already knew he was an Israelite. You got a lot of people that know who they are, man. They know they're Israelites, but we can't tell. The Lord said, let your light shine, man. Right. If you, first of all, he should have saluted us when he came by. He should have said, Shalom, King. Shalom. Right? Go ahead. I would thou work cold or hot. And the Lord said, I wish you was either all the way in the truth or all the way in the world. Go back in the world. Go ahead. So then because thou art lukewarm, the Lord said, because you lukewarm, all right, you want to call yourself an Israelite, but you don't want to wear the fringes. You want to keep the Sabbath day, but you don't want to stop shaving your beard. We know he's making his head bald, man. <laughs> right? And we know that's Jake. That's how we know we the Israelites. Right. Stiff neck and rebellious, man. Go ahead. And neither cold nor hot. And neither cold nor hot. Go ahead. I will spew thee out of my mouth. And the Lord said he'll spew you out of his mouth. And there's nothing more fearful than that, man. Shalom, gang. How you feeling, man? What's your nationality? What would you, what would you say your nationality is, King? 
African American, right? Um, ask you a question. When did we become African American? You know what year? 1980s. Right? So if we didn't become African Americans until the 1980s, where were we before that? Right? So we gotta figure this thing. Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah. All praise to the most high. All right, so let's find out who we are according to God, man. Yeah. We're going to find out we're not African and we're not American. All right, yeah, America, yeah, number yeah. one, is stolen land. Liar, liar. And it's named after an Italian map maker, all right, named Amerigo Vespucci. Give me Psalms 49 and 11, right? We don't descend from a white man. Right. Uh, America's a continent. Africa is a whole other continent. It's over 50 countries in Africa. Go ask the real African that how they never the whole continent. Because they understand, right, that you can't be a continent. They're going to give you a tribe. They're going to give you a country. They may say I'm Ethiopian, right? They may say I'm Kenyan. We the only fools over here calling ourselves out the continents. All right? Where you were born at does not determine who you are. Right. Y'all come from a seed of a man. All right? A nation of people. Okay? All right, so read that. This is Psalms 49, verse 11. Read. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Right? So they think this is going to last forever. That their inward thought is talking about your enemies. All right? They think that kingdom is going to last forever. Read. And their dwelling places to all generations. Read. They call their lands after their own name. They do what? They, they call, call their, their lands, lands after their, their own names. name. So when you open up the Bible, you're kind of looking for the American. When did the Lord create the American? You go to Genesis, the 10th chapter. When did the Lord call a nation African? Where it said it's not in there. But somehow we call it. Give me Isaiah 65 and 15. Somehow now we calling ourselves after names God never called nobody. Oh. Africa is named after another white man named Scipio Africanus who defeated Hannibal, a Roman emperor, during the Punic Wars. That's right. We don't descend from two white. We walking around calling ourselves two white people. We be proud. Right. right? We be proud about it. You know? And we're not Africans. Africans in the Bible are the Hamites. Another one of our enemies. Africans sold us to the so-called white man. All right. We didn't sell ourselves. That's the lie that they're teaching our children now. Right. Because the truth is out. All right? Read that. Yeah. Book Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Isaiah 1 and 2. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So the Lord said, that's going to be a people on the earth, his chosen people, that's going to leave their name for a curse. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read about these curses. Go ahead. Unto my chosen. Now we won't be the chosen no more. Go ahead. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servant by another name. And the Lord said he's going to call his servant by another name. All right, so it was prophesied that we wouldn't know who we were. Read that, King. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox know of his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. And the Lord said, comparing us to two dumb animals, he said even the ox know who his maker is, who he belongs to, right? And the jackass can find his way home. But Israel, but who? But Israel, but who? But Israel, but Israel. God said, "My people do not know. They don't know. Read. My people do not consider. But He said, "My people don't even consider. They don't even give a damn. Whatever Master Whitey say, we rolling with it. Master say, you black nigga. We say, oh, we black, but we be brown. We have on a black shirt and be like, I'm black and I'm proud. That's why the Lord said, we foolish, man." Right? Give me Matthew 15, 24. You can drop it. Matthew 15, 24. Why is it important to know who we are? It's very important to know everybody in the earth should be trying to find out who they are. If you believe in the Bible. And we know the Bible is true because of prophecy. All right, read that. Matthew 15, 24. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. These are the words of Christ. Y'all believe in Christ? Let's see what, what well, he, he said. he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Everybody should be trying to figure out who these people are. Who are the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Give me Jeremiah 15 and 6. Jeremiah 15 and 6 real quick. Look at Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Now he said my people have been lost sheep. Christ came for the lost sheep. Whoever God's people, who are God's people? Give me Exodus 3 and 10 real quick. Exodus 3 and 10. And then we're going to get into the curses and prove how we know without a shadow of a doubt who we are. Read. This is Exodus chapter 3, verse 10. Come now, therefore, I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel. So the my people are the children of Israel. But the children of Israel, they lost now. 
Now they don't know who they are. Let's find out what happened. Give me Deuteronomy 29 and 1. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 uh, from the top. Y'all know the story of the children of Israel yeah. and slavery. What were they doing in, under the Egyptians? They were slaves. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, right, let my right. people go. Split yeah. the sea, destroyed the Egyptians, man. He brought them out with a mighty hand. Right. He, he made a covenant with us. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments. All right, read. From uh, twin, uh, Deuteronomy 29 from the top. Bring it up. These are, these are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land uh, in the land of Moab. So this was a covenant that the Lord made with the children of Israel. So when you read the book of Deuteronomy, it's talking to one people, God's people. It's not for every everybody can't pick up the Torah and the Moabite look at it to my oh, that's talking about me. No, he's talking to the children of Israel. The Bible tells you who the audience is. All right, give me 15. Because how do we get to America on slave ships? Why? Nobody knows. Big Mama don't know. Pastor Pork Chop don't know. Nobody know why. They make slave movie after slave movie after slave yeah. movie. They teach us we were slaves in school. They gave you a month. They give a big ass statue of Martin Luther King who did nothing but get beat up, man. Right. He got sprayed with water, got beat up, right? And then he died. They killed him. And now everybody honoring him. Three. Right. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, to which I command thee this day, that all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. So the Lord told the Israelites, if y'all break these commandments, I'm going to punish you. Just like a good father would do. If you got the kids, you tell your kids, when I get home, I need the kitchen clean, your rooms need to be clean, I need the vacuum, the, uh, the living room need to be vacuumed. Now you get home, ain't nothing done. You playing down video games. Right? Hey, all hell might break loose. You might lose your mind. He coming asking you for something. He didn't do nothing he told you to do. You gonna punish that man. That's love. So the Lord said the way he's gonna punish us is through curses. Read that. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And these curses are gonna overtake us. Keep going. Curse shall not be in the city. One of the curses was whoever the Israelites are, they're gonna be cursed in the cities. How do we live in the cities, brother? Are we blessed or are we cursed in the cities of America? Who's in the ghettos and the slums? Yeah. Us. All right? Hey, we don't live in the damn penthouse suites, man. Yeah, right. Hey, all people out here picking up trash. Hey, we got to beg the white man for a job. We killing each other. We cursed in the city, right? We being murdered on live TV by the white man. Okay, read. And cursed shall I be in the field. We was cursed in the tobacco field, yes, cotton field, right? Cotton field, sugar cane field, getting our backs beat in. This, this is cursed in the field, man. This happened to our forefathers. Read. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. So the Lord said we will be getting put to death before our enemies. Read. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another, another people. people. Whose sons and daughters was given to another people? Don't we got the white man last name? <laughs> and we calling right. ourselves after two white men, of African American. We were given to other people. Read. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Go on. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. And the Lord said we will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Now, byword is being called outside your God-given nationality. Like what? American black, African American. That's a byword. Because God didn't call you that. He called you Judah. Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right, right, right. right. Haitian, that's a byword, right? Puerto Rican, Jamaican, right? Dominican, these are bywords, okay? Being called out, called something that the Lord didn't call you by, read. Uh, the byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee, verse 46. Uh-huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And these curses that we're reading are upon us for a sign. Like I always use this for an example, Publix. Publix, that's a sign, they got a big sign, McDonald's. All these corporations got big signs on it. Why do they got signs on it? Because they want you to come in. Those are identifying markers. If you want something to drink, you want some food, you want to uh, use the ATM, they might have an ATM machine in there. That identifies with what you need and you can go there to do your business. These curses is an identifying marker to show who God's people were because they would be lost. And you will have other people saying they the people of the world. You be watching down, passion of the Christ, and everybody white. Damn, Peter white. Yeah, yeah. yeah Paul white. <laughs> Moses white. <laughs> King David white. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder to make me think, damn. 
African American. These are two continents. How can I be both of them at the same time? Right. Right? How can I be black and a brother got black shoes on? Right. I'm not a crayon in a, in a, a color in a crayon box. Read. And upon thy seed forever. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord said another curse, we're going to have to serve our enemies. Who are these enemies? Is that the spiritual demon Satan? Are you damn a spirit going to be, the demon Satan going to be making us serve him? No, it's talking about a nation of people. These enemy is another people that hate you, that you're going to serve, because we didn't want to serve our God. So the Lord said, I'm going to make you serve your enemy. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. All right, when you and your wife want some food and you want to feed your children, what do we have to go to get food? Walmart, yeah. Cheesecake, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. Who owns these corporations? White men. That's us serving our, the Lord said that's a curse to have to go to somebody else for food. You don't know what's in the food. Damn GMOs. And you have to trust that. That's a curse. Read. And in thirst. Thirst. Water. Right, brother, get, the, get this right here. Pick, pick the water bottle up. It's a curse to have to go in the store and buy down water, right? <laughs> purified by filtration using the state of the art <laughs> treatment <laughs> by reverse osmosis. That sounds off. For a pure, fresh taste. <laughs> Warning Cap is a small part and possess a choking hazard, particularly for children, man. Right? <laughs> right? Damn water got ingredients on it, man. <laughs> we don't know what's in the water. We have to serve our enemies for water. Isn't water free? But we have to buy water. So the Lord said, to quench your thirst, you got to serve your enemies. Go ahead. And the nakedness. Clothes on your back, man. Right? You want to put clothes on your back, guess what? You got to serve your enemy. Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, Versace, Gucci, Faded Glory. Right? <laughs> it don't matter, bro. We picked all the cotton, but guess what? We don't own no textile mill. We got to put money in a white man's pocket right. to put clothes right. on our back. And a lot of our people be proud. <laughs> I'm clean. Mm. And they, they hate each other. They kill each other. They envy. They covet each other after these things. That's us serving our enemies, right? And in want of all things. No matter what you want, an education, brother. You want an education, you say, you know what? I'm going back to school. Whose school are you going back to? White man. Right? Is he going to teach you that you God's chosen people, that you a king? Nah. Right? And if you repent, the Lord going to come deliver you and set you on top and the white man going to be your slave in the kingdom? That's right. right. Oh, they right. teaching that? Nope. No, they going to teach you you're an African American, you was a slave, that's it. All right, if you, if you be a good nigga, we'll get you a good job and you might be all right <laughs> if the police don't catch you slipping. Right? That's what they going to teach you. You want a driver's license, you got to go to your engine. Even if you die, you got to get a damn death certificate. The white man get paid, right? Damn birth certificate, social security card, man. If you want to lead a country, right? If you want to lead a country, oh, are you free? What well, you got to get? Permission, right? Yeah. What's it called? Yeah. A passport. Yeah. You got to get a damn passport, yeah. right? If you want to go back to your homeland, to the land of Israel, you got to get permission, and it's going to be a bunch of white people there acting right. like you yeah. Yeah. with yeah. damn yeah. koofies yeah. on their head. Yeah. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he, this man, was going to put yokes of iron upon your neck. Who had yokes of iron on their neck, man? Right, this, look, this could be your son, man. Uh, yeah. This happened to our people. Did this happen to him? Uh, 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 uh. Right? Can he read that and say, oh, that's me? No. Uh -huh. No, you had one man putting the chain on, and you had another people getting it on their neck. Right. God is talking to the people that the curse was on, right. right? So this happened to us. We had yokes of iron on our neck for breaking the commandments, not because the white man hates you for your skin color. Everybody on the earth is dark, was dark, except the white man. The East Indian man darker than this brother. I just seen one the other day. I'm like, damn, yeah. like, yeah. hmm? yeah. Ask them they not, they never gonna call themselves a color. Yeah. Call yeah. So it's not about skin color, it's about seed. Y'all are the seed of Jacob, the chosen seed. Right. That's why the world hates you, go ahead. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until. How long? Until. until how long? Until. until forever. Until. until he have destroyed thee. Once the so-called white man destroyed our people, he took the chain off. All right? You train your dog. You ain't got to put a chain on him forever. You can take the chain. He ain't leaving the yard. My dog is trained. Watch this. Kind of do some tricks. <laughs> right? We trained, and he took the chains off our neck. And it's a Willie Lynch. 
uh, letter. They got a book now. You can order it on Amazon for like six bucks. Read it. All right. They took the chains off because now you got a bunch of trained African American, Puerto Rican, niggas, coons, spicks, Mexicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, walking up and down the streets in the back, the white man's backyard. Right. Go ahead. God. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from. Talk about the fifty-four. Verse fifty-four. So Go ahead. So that the man that is turned among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Here go another curse, right? The Lord said we used to be tender and delicate. We used to actually love each other, right? We used to greet each other when we passed. Now we mean mug each other. Like, what are you looking at? Yeah, Jake kind of accidentally step on your shoe. You might get a damn bullet in your head. Now our eyes evil toward one another. That's so-called black-on-black crime, man. Huh? All right, we're reading about black-on-black -black crime in the Bible. Read. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Who's known for leaving the children? Mm. Our Don't men. Don't worry about those. So you got single women uh, uh, households, man. Our sisters got to be strong black women. You never heard of a, have you ever heard of a strong East Indian? <laughs> a strong, uh, <laughs> a strong dark-skinned, Arab. No, they have their family structure. They don't got to be all that. They can play their role. They have their family structure. All right? So these are curses that are on our people to identify who we are. All right? Jump up to 68. Okay. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And he just came out of Egypt. The Lord split the sea. He delivered us out of Egypt. They walked into Egypt and they walked out of Egypt. But now the Lord has said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. All right? Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, and verse 6. Bring it out, out. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with slavery or bondage. That's literally what Egypt means. So when the Lord said, I'm going to bring it to Egypt again, we know he's not talking about ancient Egypt, because throughout the Bible, they never went back into Egypt as a nation. All right? All right, so go back to that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again, Rick. With ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. How do we come over here, brother? Oh, it's safe ships. Slave ships. Ship. Mm -hmm. And you know that was a dead pastor. All right. Tell you that, man. He never showed us slave ships in the Bible. Yeah. You mean to tell me all these slave movies we don't watch, man? It's in the Bible the whole time? Right. This is prophesied to happen to the children of Israel. It didn't say African American. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And when we got off the slave ships, when you get to this place, you're going to be sold to your enemies. Who are we sold to? The white man. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're trying to figure out why they shooting us down, why they hate us. Why, it's right. 2020 and we still marching. Why is there a Black Lives Matter? Yeah, right. right. What is that about? Because right. they are your enemy. Right. right. All right, so according to the Bible, who are we? What's your nationality, King? I don't know. <laughs> no Read again. Read again. Look at Deuteronomy. Now, do you do your spirit bear witness with these curses? Yeah. Uh, can can the can the China man, if a China man was standing next to y'all and we was reading these curses, could he agree to them? Could he say that happened to us? No. What about a white man? No, because he was executing the judgment. Give me um, Psalm 17 and 13. Go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. He's speaking to the children of Israel. So by default, who are we? That these things happen to. Mm -hmm. So who are we? Who are we, King? Confused? Uh, you said it right, man. Yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Hey, we quick to say African American. Hey, the white man did a number on us, man. And we can't just roll out the tongue. I'm black. You know what I'm saying? I know who I am. I'm African. I am American. But when it comes to this truth, it's hard. I don't know. No, we the Israelites, man. That's right. All right. All right. All right, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. Bring it out, huh? You can drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right. Let's see what the Lord said about you, King. All right. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. That's why pastor, nasty Christian pastor, want to keep you out the Old Testament. All right. Just read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, what book can you pick up and just start in the middle of it? Right. Right? Read. 
For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Lord chose you to be a special people unto himself, brother. Right, that's Nobody right. told us we were special, man. Right. Our sisters hate it. They hate themselves. They hate their hair. All right, they won't leave a damn house unless they got put got damn <laughs> transform turned into a damn transformer, man. They got the damn eyelashes. They got the damn. Yeah, it's madness, man. That's right. But the Lord said we are special people, man. The so-called white man beat us down, took that from us, and he gave you this damn blonde hair, leprous face, blue-eyed white woman, and told you that was beauty. And our people want to look like that. But la ah, the Lord said we are special people, Reed. Above. How, what the Lord say? Above. Now we equal to everybody. Above. above. Now we below. Above. above. The Lord said, brother, you above, Reed. All, all people. people. Now, upon the face of the earth. That's why when a so called white man look at you, they get mad. Because God literally said that we above all people, man. That's right. right. right when the police look at you, he's like, that's a damn nigga better than me, mm -hmm. man. He kind of got his gun on his hip, man. He kind of take advantage of you, man. Because uh -huh. he hates you, man. Right. Because he's your enemy. God. That's the same thing. Right? Ooh. Give me the book of Amos 3, 3 from the top. Give me Joel 2 and 27. Book of Amos chapter 3 from the top. Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Oh who? O, o children, children of Israel. Israel. O children of Israel. Alright, y'all gave him a fly? Y'all gave him a fly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, go ahead, one more, bring it up. Hear this word that the, that the Lord has dropped that. Give me two robbers. Give me two robbers. We got one more. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. Out. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. Now that you know that you're not an African American, that you're a daughter of Zion, you're a princess, and you're above all people, the Lord requires something of us in these last days. Read, to fear the Lord. All right, and to walk in all his ways. Go and ahead. And to love him. To what? And to, to love him. him. We have to love our God again, the, the, the black man that's in the sky, not right. no white man. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. What did we break? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. We broke the commandments. That's the only reason we're on the bottom. Soon as we repent and keep the commandments and the faith in Christ, guess what? The Lord's going to deliver us. Uh -huh. So we got to keep the commandments. All right, yeah, sister. Thank you. All right, Goodbye. I'll praise to the most high. All right, I'll praise to the most high. Man. Uh -huh. the most high hand, man. We're not right. out here to debate with the white man, all right? We're not out here to damn be on camera, man. And what we out here to do is to wake up our people, man. Oh, if it's right. for two minutes or if it's for 30 minutes, man. We'll if it's for damn two hours, man. We'll all right, we don't give a damn. Our job is to wake up the children of Israel, man. Right. And right. right. we ready to get the hell out of here, man. That's right. right. All right, read that. This is John chapter 10, verse 27. Go ahead. My sheep hear my voice. And the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, man. Everybody not going to come up and hear the hearkening to the words of life, man. All right? But the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, man. Go ahead. And I know them. What the Lord say? And, and I, I know, know them. The Lord said he know him. That's why it's important for us to be out here. Because the Lord got lost sheep out here, man. And he know them. And when we open up the words of life and we speak, thus said the Lord. Hey, the Lord said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me, man. All right. Go ahead. And they follow me. What the Lord say? And, and they, they follow me. me. And if they are the Lord. Guess what? They're going to check out the YouTube. They're going to get into this. They're going to ask questions, man. They're going to start keeping the commandments, man. Right, right. And they're right. going to follow the Lord, man. Right. All right? You can drop that. Give me John 14 um, from the top, man. Right? This is John chapter 14 from the top. Go ahead. Let not your hearts be troubled. Right? Ye believe man, in your house. Get this man on camera. He's mad, man. <laughs> nah, he's mad. <laughs> Right? He kind of put a choice. He said, I assaulted him. Police came around. Man, he said, these niggas still here. Oh. <laughs> like, why did they arrest him? Put a gate up. Yeah. <laughs> He's mad. I know he mad. Uh, yeah. Look at Psalm chapter 1, uh, chapter 2 from the top. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And why do the heathen, what the hell a white man mad about? Right. Why he so mad we reading the Bible if it's not true? What's the problem? Right? Why they keep calling the police on us, man? And he begging the police to do something, man. And they done tried every damn thing, man. 
Hey, you know how long we've been out here with the speaker? We was out here, man, going hard with the speaker, man. And they say, you just gotta get rid of the speaker, man. Hey, then they say, our voice too loud. Now we can't speak. Right? Then they put they put the damn sign up and changed the time. They say, no, we want these, these niggas gotta go by 1201. Not 12, 1201. And you know, they trying to, you know what I'm saying? They trying to put the 01 on there just in case it's 02. We got two. Right? How you doing, King? How y'all doing, man? You got a couple minutes in the words of life? What's your nationality? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. One minute. Hey, the Lord said there's none good but one, man. Give him two minutes, bro. You see that, man? She said. Hey, y'all Israelites, man. Y'all got to keep the commandments of the Lord. If you know, <sighs> hey, they might just found out. Hey, you gotta be merciful. Hey, we need mercy from the Lord. Hey, we gotta be merciful, man. That's right. All right? <sighs> Read that again, yeah. man. Huh? Yeah, it's a lot good. Book of Psalm chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And they imagine a vain thing, man. If we put the damn gate up, that'll do it. You know? That'll, they're not coming back out here no more. They're gonna have to move. No, man. They can't overthrow this unless it be a, unless the Lord do it. We're not moving unless the Lord moves, right? All right. Go ahead. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing. Against the Lord and against his anointing. And they literally take care. I was in the court and I'm listening to the lady talk to the judge. And like I'm not even there, man. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, they literally taking the counsel right in my face, man. You know, they normally do it in the secret. And at this point, they like, you know, I'm like, damn, I didn't know all this was going on. They didn't mention none of this when they come out. They talk about other stuff. Put the tent down, you know, the dust will meet. They didn't tell us about all these other crafty councils they had going on. You know, they got thousands. Where are the thousands of people at? Where did these signatures come from? Where are the thousands of signatures that y'all got? The petition at? Right? Where are they at, man? But apparently they got it. And why haven't they came and moved us yet? Right? So this, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Go ahead. And the main thing is, they don't want to, when we was out here and it was just me and this brother, and nobody was listening, and we used to be out here for hours, man, just down prophesying to the wind. Yeah, now people are listening, they see people up here for hours listening to the word, they see all oh, these niggas waking up. You know what I'm saying? And you got a bunch of brothers out here in order, man. Uh, right, in righteousness, right. man. Uh, we not uh, drinking. We not smoking. Right? We out here in righteousness, and they hate that, man. Right. right. And right. you have brothers out here, man. You police right around getting on us, but you smell weed yeah, everywhere. Right. 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 Uh, and we had a brother come pull a gun on us. You had brothers trying to fight us in front of the police. We've been hit by eggs, rocks, ice. They ain't say nothing about that. Why? Because it's about this truth. It's about the word of the Lord, man. Uh, that's right. All right, go ahead. How you doing, sister? Give me two minutes to say the words of the Lord. We out here for you. We love you, sister. Right. Come talk to us. Your brother. That's Ham. How y'all know? Cameroon. Huh? Cameroon. Cameroon. Oh, well, we scouted it. Uh, <laughs> uh, bear, 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 bear witness. Hey, you know. Bear, 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 hey, man. Go ahead. Say. <laughs> Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. And they, and they, hey, man. And hey, the these down, and they be confounded, man. They don't know why. I remember one time we were surrounded up here. The one, he kind of had his hand on his thing. He don't know why. we. Were, they were looking at each other like, why we not? You know what I'm saying? It was a spiritual line they couldn't cross. Like, why we not? Come on. Ain't nobody going to do nothing. They were looking at each other. Mm -hmm. The one Edomite, he was walking in circles. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Confounded, man. Right. They, they, they don't see the angels, man. Right. All right? And hey, you don't always got to see the damn right. chariot. It could be a chariot right here, right now, man. The whole time we teach it, man. And hey, we believe the angels out here with us, man. Right. That's why we don't have no fear, man. Right. We fear the Lord and only the Most High. Right. That's right. All right, go ahead. Verse 5. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Right. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Right. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me. That's that, one of my favorite chapters, man. Go ahead. Thou art my son. 
This day have I begotten thee. Uh -huh. Ask of me. What the Lord say? Ask, ask of me. me. What the Lord say? Ask, ask of me. me. Hey, the Lord said, we brothers got to ask this, right? Uh -huh. Uh, this the Lord telling you to ask of him, read, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And hey, these people that hate us, we're going to inherit them, man. Right. Right. Uh, hey, the Lord right. created them for us, man. Right. Uh, the only reason they over us because of our disobedience. Right. Right. But all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Ba Shem, Yahweh Shah, for his mercy and grace that endured forever, man. Right. 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 And the Lord made them manifest right. through the Spirit, right. man. Right. Right. All right? All right. Slaves, man. Right. You got slaves on the loose, man. Yeah. All right? right? White Edomite nasty, trashy Edomite women. That's right. Future right. slaves right. and handmaids, uh. right? Come on. All right, go ahead. And the uttermost parts of the earth for that. Hey, this is my favorite part. Not only are we going to get nasty white men and make them build our kingdom, we're going to get the uttermost parts of the earth. The Lord made the whole earth for our sakes, man. That's right. Hey, don't brothers want to rule the earth, man? That's right. That's right. Hey, we don't, we don't, we hate this place, man. That's right. right. We don't, I'm not, I don't want to be in America in 2022, man. That's right, I'm man. I'm not looking to be here another five years, man. No. I'm trying to get the hell out, man. Right. I don't got a damn five-year business plan, man. Right. I don't right. know what I'm going to do next year, man. I don't got a plan, man. Right. My only plan is to keep the commandments and the faith right. and hope. Hope that I can get salvation, man. That's right. That the Lord deliver me and my people, man. Right. Give me Romans 10 and 1, man. And I want to see all these men out here get the kingdom, man. Right. Come on. This is Romans chapter 10, verse. Hold on, hold on. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 from the top. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And that's what we're trying to do. We've acknowledged our sins. we confessed our sins before the Lord, man. we humbled down, man. All right? We understand that all we got is the most high, man. And we're we trying to do this right now, man. Because we're remembering the covenant. We're remembering who we are. The Lord said that they shall bethink themselves, man. In the land of their captivity, man. That's right. Go ahead. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. That's one of hey, the Lord, that's a promise. If we do these things, we always go to Deuteronomy 15 on through 68 and read about the curses. What about the blessings? Uh, right. Right. Yeah. All right, go to 30, go to Deuteronomy 30. That's the time we living in now. Hey, we done been through, the, we done been through all that. All right, now we gotta endure to the end, man. We gotta fight to the end, man. If it be the Lord's will, we endure through Jacob's trouble, man. Those men whose lot is to die for the Lord, most high willing man, and we get through this thing and get the kingdom. Right. We understand that we can't get the kingdom. We can't take the white man down until these things happen. Right. Right. And the Lord said the enemy gonna come in like a flood. Right. Hey, a damn flood, a damn waters come rushing in, man. Right. Hey, when it's a damn hurricane, hey, the white man tell you get out. Can't call 911 for a damn hurricane, for a tsunami, man. Right. He tell you you gotta just get out. That's your only hope. So the enemy gonna come in like a flood. So the Lord is setting it up to where the only thing you're gonna be able to do is call on the name of the Lord. That's uh, right. right. Only the Lord is gonna deliver you, man. Uh, it's nothing you're gonna be able to do, man, because you can't do nothing against a flood. All right, so now this is the time we're living in. Read that. This is one of my favorite chapters too, man. Book of Deuteronomy. 30, 30, you can start from the top. Yeah. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 from the top. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. The, when the blessing and the curse, all these things come upon us. We went through all this. All right, the time of uh, King David, the time of Solomon. All right, we was blessed. All right, we was running through the nations, man. Then the time of King David. And then the curses, man. Right? Been the captivity after captivity after captivity. Now what? Go ahead. Which I have set before thee, and, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee. And we do it among all nations. And we loud out here, man. Right? And all nations have heard this truth. Not just our people. Because our people are mingled and scattered amongst them. They got, they're going to hear the word too. Right. We're going to confess the name of the Lord before the Gentiles too. Right. And they, they hear the curses too. That's why they're scared. When we go through Deuteronomy 28 and 15, that's their future. That's right. We read Deuteronomy 28 and 1, that's our future. Right. Go ahead. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. Because the, the Lord through Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, that's why Yahweh Shah is everything to us, man. Because uh, right. through him, we can return to the Father, man. Go ahead. And shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Uh-huh. Uh, thou and thy children will all 
with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. Then the Lord is going to turn our captivity. And that's what we're doing through the Spirit, right? And I pray the Most High give us all mercy, man, and strengthen you brothers. You brothers that's out here struggling with something, I pray the Most High send the comforter, man, to help you with that. To lift right. that, man. All right. all right. To help you fight another, because we all struggle, man. And we all need each other, man. All right. All right. Do your whole shot. Go ahead. And have compassion upon thee. And we need compassion. Hey, the Lord going to have compassion on us, man. All right. Jake, you kind of be at work. I kind of got out the spirit today at work, man. Man, Esau's just pissing me off, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn, sending my damn phone, add, adding stuff to my route, man. Not telling me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, go, I think I'm, I'm, I'm done. I go on my damn phone. He done added two more things to my route, man. Yeah. Somewhere I already been, now I gotta go back, man. And all so called white people going to slavery. That's right! right. If you didn't know, it is written all so called white men, women, and child will be slaves under Yahweh Shah. That's, That's right! right. All right, if they didn't know, now they know. Read. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord, uh, Salak here, whether the Lord thy power hath scattered thee. Uh huh. If any of thine be driven out unto the out, outmost parts of heaven. So the Lord is saying, wherever we are, man, he's going to come and get us, man. All right, we don't got to flee. We don't got to leave America. The Lord is going to come get us wherever we at. Man. Go ahead. And we got it. Some people saying you got to leave America. America's gonna be destroyed. If you're in America, you're gonna be destroyed. No, man. That's a part of the strangeness of your salvation. That's right. The Lord delivering you out of the destruction, man. Right? The Lord said we're gonna scarcely be saved. We barely gonna make it. When all hell break loose, the brothers gonna be scared. You see that? The brothers gonna think they ain't gonna make it, man. And that's the that's the beauty of it, man. Yeah, but I was flying around the sky, man. You see that you see other brothers getting beamed up, you like, oh man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he uh, You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. From yeah. thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Right? And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart. You will do what? Circumcise, circumcise thine, thine heart. You will do what? Circumcise, circumcise thine, thine heart. heart. We need the Lord to circumcise our heart, man. Uh -huh. We need the Lord to do that. Christians out here trying to do it. You know, they trying to trying to circumcise their own heart, man. They already in the new covenant. They done did it. Right? They in the new covenant. <laughs> you know, the Lord gotta do it, man. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live, right? And the Lord thy power will put. Here's the point, all right? After the blessings and the curses on us and the Lord deliver us, by default, something has to happen to the so-called white man, woman, and child. Read, right. right? And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. They will do what? Put, put all, all these, these curses upon, upon thine enemies. enemies. Esau gonna be reading, we gonna be reading Deuteronomy 28 and 15 to Esau in the kingdom, man. That's yeah. right. God. They're going to try to figure out what's going on. They're going to try to figure out what's going on. Their parents going to be reading Deuteronomy 28 and 15, man. <laughs> Curse shall we be in the cities of the kingdom of heaven, man. God. Right? Curse shall we be in the field. <laughs> the Lord going to literally put these curses upon our enemies, man. And it's going to be a beautiful thing to see, man. Right. I God. can't wait, man. God. God. All right, go ahead. And on them. Hey, brother. Brother in the orange. In the dolphin shirt. Hey, you got a couple minutes? Can I rap with you for a second, King? We got a couple minutes. I'll pray to the most high. I'll pray to the most high. My name is Brother John, right? Yes, sir. How you feeling tonight, King? I'm pretty good. I'll pray. I'll pray. Uh, what would you say your nationality is? Hey, uh, that's a good thing. That's a good question, right? I like that. I like that. I would say maybe, maybe some, uh, Hebrew. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nah, I mean, I, now when you say maybe, what do you mean? Well, I'm not gonna say maybe. What Hebrew I, Edomite, Hebrew yeah. Israelite, Hebrew Moabite. Oh. I mean, not Moabite, but Hebrew uh, Israelite. <laughs> uh, that part, I, I, I mean, I don't. Know. Okay, okay, okay. What now? When you say Hebrew, why, why, what made you say Hebrew? Well, 
I mean, you know, I, I could just, you know, what it is is, you know, I do my research, right. you know, and, you know, I can tell from this or that. So, you know, I just, like I said, just, just research. Right, so, right. Doing research. Now, do you believe in the Bible? Uh, did you read about the Hebrews in the Bible? Somewhat. Somewhat? All right. What if I told you, what if I told you, what's your father, so-called African-American? I say, what's my Will father? Will he be called so-called African-American today? Your father? Most high. No, what your mean? earthly father. Earthly father? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what they, they would call him. That's what they would call him. Right, okay. They would call him. All right. What if I told you that your history is found in the Bible? And that was prophecy written about our people, things that were written thousand years before it happened. Distorted, though. Huh? Distorted. Is well, it we're going to find out if it's distorted. Or we're going to find out if it happened exactly the way it's written. Mm. That's the thing. Because we weren't taught these things growing up. Uh -huh. The Bible don't say what Christianity says it says. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we don't read. Yes, exactly. We repeat and uh -huh. regurgitate what was given to us. Right. So we understand how people are not believing in the Bible. Right. But that's why we out here. Our, the Lord set us up to come out here in the last days to give back to our people what was taken from. All right. All right. All right. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Read it out, huh? Book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 from the top. Read it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who is Moses speaking to, King? Okay. Read it one more time. Says, yeah, go ahead. One more time. Okay. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses spake words to who? All of Israel. All Israel. He's not talking about the Moabites. He ain't talking to nobody else. Right, right, right. These are words that he only spoke to the children of Israel. And you know the history of the Israelites. What were they doing under the Egyptians and Pharaoh? You know? No. Nah, it was in slavery. It was slavery. Okay. It was being oppressed by the Egyptians. Right. And the Lord, you know this quote, let my people go, split the sea, yeah. deliver the, the children of Israel, destroy the Egyptians. All right, give me uh, Deuteronomy um, 28 and 15. How do we get to, the, to America? <laughs> How did we get to America? Yeah, how do we get over here? Did we take American oh, Airlines? Did we take the train? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did we kind of swim across the Atlantic? Uh, shit, hell. Actually, I would believe. How did we get here? Right. And they, they, they got a whole month about it. They teach us in school. They, they, how many, how they many movies? They teach us in school. Right. They uh -huh. teach us in school how right. we got over. So, I, right. I mean, that, that's just because they teach us, that don't mean. So, you're skeptical. Uh, so he's skeptical. Definitely that. Definitely. Did this happen? Was this fake? Did this happen? Did it I happen? I, I mean, I can't say it's, it's not fake. You know right. It definitely, it definitely happened, definitely right? Happened. We can agree to that. Right. right. You have actual slaves. We didn't have to listen to the white man. You had actual slaves uh, that was alive that gave accounts. Mm -hmm. Right. That wrote books. Yeah. So we know it happened, yep. right? And we also know slave ships happened. You know, the only way to get from the creation to all the way over here, this part of the world, right. is on a ship. All right? Yeah, right, right. And we know that the so-called African-Americans were stacked on the bottom of the slave ship. Exactly. All right, we understand that. So now, the Lord told the children of Israel, you don't have a children in here. So we know this happened, but the one thing we don't talk about is why. Mm. How could this happen to us? Why did it happen to us? Why didn't it happen to the China man? You got many nations on the earth. Why did it happen to our people? Hey, and uh, I used to ask this when I was young. Right. Nobody had an answer. Right? Mm. But the Bible has the answer. All right, so read that. Uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 15. But shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, yeah, when, when the Lord delivered us, he came and delivered us with a mighty hand. He destroyed the Egyptians, man. He showed many signs and wonders. He brought plagues on our enemies, and he made a covenant with the children of Israel. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments. And right. this, he said, if you break my commandments, I'm going to punish you. I'm going to put curses on you. Just like if you got a son. That's your son, right? If he disobey you or your nephew, 
right? If he disobeyed, you say he was your son. Guess what? You don't punish him. That's love. You're not going to let him do what he want to do. Because a black man will get put to death right? without order. Right. All right? So the Lord corrects us. All right? So read on. Verse 16. Curse shall not be in the city. Let's not forget who he's talking to. These things pertain to the children of Israel. The Lord said the children of Israel will be cursed in the cities. How do we live in the cities? Are we in the suburbs or are we in the ghettos? We're in the, in the ghetto. All right, we getting right. shot by the police. Shot by the Last police. hire, first fire. Right, we still marching. I thought Martin Luther King was this hero. Yeah, what he did was he cursed. You. I mean, it's, it, but it's, it's time up now. It's, it's, it's time up now. Well, well. It's time up now. It's time up. You're right. It is time, time up. So during this time, this grace period, right, we've served our punishment. We got to learn now. Yeah. We got to learn the truth. That's why, it's right. more, that's why it's more brothers. As I just talked to a brother, uh, who was this, today or yesterday, Kurt? When did you get that haircut? Earlier today? Uh, yesterday. Yeah, earlier today. Yeah. yeah, the brother just came out of the blue just talking to me about being awoke. I mean, just being, I mean, understanding what's actually going on. So right. I, that's what I'm trying to right. say to you that I see more and more people understanding what's actually going on. Right. Yeah. Right. Let me start right, 1919. Really out, huh? Right? <clears throat> Let me start right, 1919. Because what is on? Are they really woke? Let me Romans 13, 11. Really? I'm, 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 this is Job chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. And unto man. First, somebody give me Romans 13, 11 first. Because the brother says something deep, huh? Yeah. Right? Let me Romans 13 and 11. Okay. Romans chapter and the Lord, 13 verse 11. the Lord set this up for you to come up here tonight. Yeah, he did. You didn't know I this did. was going to happen tonight. Yeah, I didn't know. You but see, I, you kinda, I, you know this, I know this happened like that. Right. Just, just oh, yeah. as it is what it is. Right. Man, that's I'm telling you. That's it. That's what he, that's what he does. Man. Right. I didn't. I mean, listen. I'm going to tell you this. This, this is my rat. Right. I'm going to tell you this how I know that. I mean, this is how it's supposed to be anyway. Right, right. I'm going to take my kids to get some ice cream. So right. I go down to this one place. That's right. They're closed. Right. They're not there no more. Right. I go down to this other place. They're in some type of, well, they basically closed. Right. So I say, well, I'm going to have to go to another place. Right. They all in the vicinity of each other. Right. Come down right here. It's open. That's how it happened, that, bro. Right? That, hey, that's how it It ain't about the ice cream. Hey, it's not about you see exactly. that? <laughs> right? Exactly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go to show you some point, man. Just, I, you know, uh -huh. I, it's just something, man. It's just, right, right. It's just, that's just like, that's just like, uh, let me see. Okay, that's just like it. That makes it even worse. We have to move them up. If we leave a smart one in the ghetto, we might develop a new leader against us. But if we raise him up and fight society, we neutralize him. If he is compelled, It's already right. So it's un right now. It's unstoppable. Right. right. So, so I'm praise to the most high, man. Right. I'm about to shoot my shot. Wow. Right. 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 And that knowing the time now that knowing the time, we ought to know the time we live in. Right. A lot of people kind of, you know, they kind of know, you know, the, the, what's going on, but they don't really know. Right. right. Go ahead. Salaki. That and that. Oh, Salaki. And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Now is high time 
to wake the hell up out of sleep. Right. And right. hey, we've been in a damn coma for 500 years. That's right. right. That's now right. the Lord through the Spirit is waking us up. That's so the right. Lord kind of, you've been dibbling and dabbling over here, little yep. contact yep. clues here and there. Yep. Little yep. Now the Lord brought you up here to get the yes, whole sir. get the whole understanding. Oh, yeah. right. Now it's time to bring it home. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Come. All right, go ahead. For now is our salvation. Our what? Our, our salvation. Our what? Our salvation. And the Lord said, now our salvation, read. Is nearer than when we believe. It's nearer than when we believe. That's Our right. salvation is getting close. That's we right. waking up. All right? Give me the book of Luke 1 and 68 real quick. Yeah, give me Luke 1 and 68 real quick. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Now you can drop Romans. Luke 1 68. Our salvation is getting close, man. Right? Read that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The, the God of who? The God of Israel. The so-called white man know he's the God of Israel. That's why they didn't want you to know who Israel was. That's why they wanted you to be an African American. That's why we asked 20 so-called black men in nationality, we get 20 different answers. But we the same people. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Uh-huh. And have raised up a heart of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Uh -huh. Which have been since the world began. Uh -huh. That we should be saved. That what? That, that we, we should be saved. That we should be saved, read. From our enemies. From what? From, From our, our enemies. enemies. So salvation is being saved. We were taught we was already saved if you just believe on Jesus. That's why that's why you said parts. That's why you, it's hard to believe in it. Uh. But when you read it, it says salvation is the children of Israel being saved from their enemies. That's right. Superman uh. don't come save everybody. Uh. Right. Everybody don't need to be saved. You have an oppressor and you have the oppressed. Right? right? If, I, if I was raped by a rapist, what the hell kind of salvation is for me to be saved with, with my damn rapist? Uh. Right. I don't uh. make no, that's not salvation. Right. Give me Proverbs 11 and 1. Go ahead. Uh that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. The children of Israel have enemies and people that hate them in the earth. And they have displayed and showed us this over 400 years. Uh, That's right. All right, it's plain upon, it's clear. It's not a secret no more. That's, right. That's why Martin Luther King, he kind of marched and you know, he kind of got beat up, kind of got sprayed with water hose, then they put him to death. Right. And they put him a big statue up and they gave him a day. All right, and black people just proud. We, we so damn stupid, it's easy to please them. Right? We're not saved. And why are we still marching? Why is there a damn George Floyd with a damn knee in his neck? Yeah, right. Why are we still getting hung on trees? Because right. we've been lied to. Come. Read that. Book of Proverbs chapter 11 from the top. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Hold on. The Lord said a false balance is an abomination unto him. Read. But a just weight is his delight. A just weight is his delight. Right, meaning what? Like, you got the day, you got the night. You got good. You got evil. The Lord set all that up, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's balance. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. Give me Revelations 13 and 10. Mm. This is what not. This is what's not taught to our people. You look in the Bible, you just think about a white God and just white, 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 white. But that's not so. All right? This Bible is our history book, and it's only right. talking about us. Right. And the Lord has given it back to us in the last day as he promised. That's, right. that's why they, a Christian pastor can't understand this Bible. Right. They can't go precept upon precept. They can't explain this scripture we're about to read. Read that. That's this is right. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Come on. Any man have an ear, let him hear. Y'all got ears. And the Lord said, if you got ears to hear, listen to this. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. Yo, man, who led us into captivity? You know? Who put us in slavery? There you go. That's right. Right. So the Lord said, who leadeth into slavery, read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall, Shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. That's justice. Uh. Give me Lamentations 4 and 17. The Lord said this man has to go into slavery. Why? Because God is just and balanced. That's if you right. put a people right. in slavery now, you got to go into slavery. Right. 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 right? That's justice. Give me Galatians uh. 6 and 7. Lamentations 4 and 17. I got Galatians 6. So the Lord got this thing set up to where he's going to bring salvation so he can get the glory and the praise. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't the, right. it wasn't gonna be some man, Malcolm X couldn't do it, mm -hmm. Marcus Garvey couldn't, cause then you get a credit to man. Mm -hmm. That's right. right, then the Lord curse us for idolatry, mm -hmm. for listening and following everybody else and not following our God and the commandments. All right, read that. This is Galatians. Read. This is Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Come on. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. Be not mm. deceived, the Most High is not mocked. 
All right, the Lord, the white man not getting away with slavery. Right. Like he, can't, he can't open up John 3, 16, <laughs> like give you white Jesus, put a bunch of crosses up, and now everything kind of swept under the rug. Did the Lord forget about slavery? Nope. Nope. Did the Lord forget about this, man? Mm -hmm. Little children with chains on, man. You look at this brother, man, being burnt alive. Is God unjust? Look at all these white men taking a selfie while this yep. brother's being yep. burnt alive. Man. Did the Lord forget about that? La -a. So we got to find out what the hell's going on, right? Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. Go ahead. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. The Lord said, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. If you sow rape, rob, and murder in the earth, if you go around oppressing the people, if you lie about their nationality, if you steal their land, guess what? You're going to reap. God. Read that. Lamentations 4, 17. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, and verse 17. Bring it out. As for us, our eyes are as yet failed for our value help. Our eyes fail for our vain help, right? Vanity. You see that? We always look and we want to vote. Yeah, you're voting for Joe Biden. You think it's going to be different. Damn! What, what president is this? 46. 46 damn presidents. Which one did something? Which one changed something? Damn. Our eyes fail and watch for vain help. The, the people, they look at this, this bloody ass flag, they still waving it around. They proud. They proud of the bloodshed in the earth. That's right. All right, read. For our vain help in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We watching for a nation that can't save you. Joe Osteen can't save you. Right. I don't know how much money you get, you can't pay for salvation. Right. That's right. He's not allowed to read Obadiah. He can't read that scripture. He, you'll never hear T.D. Jakes reading Revelation 13, 10 because he can't explain it. Right. That's right. <laughs> All right? That's why people don't learn nothing in church. They keep feeding you this Christian doctrine. Right. All right? That's why they come up here and they get cut the hell up, man. Right. All right, so now, give me the book of Isaiah 14 and 1. The Bible is undefeated. I got a picture of bring it out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 16. Bring it out. Therefore, all that devour thee shall be, shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. So the Lord said, our, our enemies are going to be devoured, and all the adversaries of the children of Israel. Read it again. So like, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. No, just some of them. Every one, every one of them. And hey, the Lord said, didn't all of us go into slavery? Uh -huh. Was Jeremiah righteous? Uh -huh. Was Daniel righteous? Uh -huh. Right. Was Ezekiel righteous? Uh -huh. They was in slavery. Even the Lord was in captivity under the Romans. Uh -huh. Right. But the so-called white man not going to slavery? Mm. Not, oh, not Mr. Whitey. He just can't. The Lord just can't judge him. Right. He's going to get away with all that. And there's nobody more wicked than this man. Right. Right. Nobody has shed more blood than this man. Right. All right. Bring that out. Isaiah 14 and 1. Look at Isaiah chapter 14 from the top. Bring it, Bring out. it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob. Who is Jacob? Who the hell is Jacob? Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. He had 12 sons. Right? And we are here to tell you, brother, you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. That's right. You one of the sons of Jacob. So when the Lord reads and talks about Jacob, he's talking about the so-called black, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian. That's we right. are the true children of the living God. God. We're not niggas. We're not African Americans. All right, right. All right. We're not Haitians. We're not Jamaicans. You don't read about Jamaicans and Haitians and black people in the Bible. Right. You read about 18 nations of people that God created. He's only dealing with one. Right. Give me Psalms 147, 19. Go ahead. And we'll yet choose Israel. And we'll yet choose Israel at the end of the day. This is an eschaton. This is going into the kingdom of heaven. Right. All right, go ahead. And set them in their own land. Why do we have to be set in our own land? Because we was taken and stacked up on slave ships and brought to a land that we know it's not and made to serve. If the so-called white man is these people, what the hell is he doing in the land in 1948? Oh. When the Lord come back, it's set up as a witness against him for us to be in the hands of our enemy. Give me the book of Exodus 21 and 16. Give me Exodus 21 and 16. Right, and they mad. Yeah, this is yeah, Exodus. Yeah, yeah. Read that. Chapter 21, verse 14. 16. 16. And he that stilleth a man. He that stilleth the, what were we stolen? The Lord, this is the law. He that stilleth the man, read. And selleth him. And what we sold? 
We were stole and we were sold. Read. Or if he be found in his hand. And it's set up when the Lord come back for us to still be found in his hand. Come with on. the white man's last name. Calling yourself African American. When the Lord come back, we're going to be found in his hands as a witness against him. Read. Right. He shall be surely put to death. He shall what? He, he shall, shall be, be surely put, put to, to death. death. The Lord said he shall surely be put to death. Come so on. let's go back to the kingdom of heaven. Read. Come and the people shall take them. Now we're going to ask. Shall take, take them. So the children of Israel is going to take somebody by force. Read. Uh -huh. And bring them to their place. Uh -huh. And the house of Israel shall put Hold on. You, you skip so read up. Read up again. 14. One. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the Lord said the strangers are going to be joined with them. So everybody going to be in the kingdom. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us. Right now, we cleave into the white man. But in that day, they're going to cleave to us. Read. And right. the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Go ahead. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants. In Hold on. We're going to possess them in the land of the Lord. The land of the Lord is the kingdom of heaven. Is that your truck? Yeah. yeah. That's your possession, right? Yeah. So when it says we're going to possess, that means we're going to own them. Then they own us. Don't they own us today? They own us. Great. Mm -hmm. For servants. For what? For, For servants. servants. We were servants. Right? We were servants in the cotton field, in the tobacco field. Yeah. Yeah. But the Lord said they're going to be our servants. Read. And handmaids. And what? And, and handmaids. And handmaids. Read. And they shall take them captive. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take them captive. Why? Whose captives they, they were. Because we was they captives. Right. Uh, this is justice in the Bible. Read. Right. And they shall rule over the oppressor. Hold on. We're going to do what? They rule over, over the oppressor. That's an oppressor in the earth. The Lord said we're going to rule over them. Go ahead. And this shall come to pass. And the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. And the Lord said in that day he's going to give us rest. We're not going to have to fear the white man. Get right. behind you in the police car and whether you're gonna make it home or not. Right. Right. We're not gonna have to get our story straight and see what I try to make it. We have to worry about our son and daughters coming home. Right. right. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I, I love it, man. I that hear. thou shalt take up this proverb. Hey, you, can, you, can, you can rest right there. So this Bible is about the liberation, all right, of the children of Israel, the relationship between us and our God. How we sinned against the Lord, broke the commandments, he put curses on us. How he sent his son. To give us repentance so we can return it to the Father, keep the commandments, and get salvation and rule this earth again in righteousness. My brother, all right. man, let me get out of here. Like, I'm gonna all right, I, 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 see, I see you, though. We're on the right page. I'm, I'm going to come back down here with y'all, too, All right, man. we're out here every Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. All right, King. I appreciate it. What's your name? Jonathan. Paul. All right. I'll okay. You Benjamin. Y'all fellas take Here's care. All right, brother. Appreciate Paul, it. Bro. All right, Paul. Paul. I'll pray for you. All praises, man. Hey, the word going out, man. All right? The word going out, man. Hey, I, 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 don't, I don't mind going through Deuteronomy 28 all night, man. I right. go through that for hours, man. Right. Right? It's nothing more important than that, man. Give me the book of Brute, chapter 24. Shout out to I'm praising the most high. Y'all about to see me out shout out to Rock the I'll praise I'll praise the most high. Shout out to Rock the Top. Shout out to Rock the Sometimes, man, Jake, you know what I'm saying? You can't get through. Sometimes you got to get Jake what he need to hear, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Sometimes, Jake, you got to go right to, to Revelation 13 now, man. Mm -hmm. So he can stop thinking it's the white man. Really? So he can stop thinking that the, the Lord is something sweet, man. All right? You plant that seed, now he, now he ain't real then, man. Because it's of the Lord, man. We ain't always got to go to Deuteronomy 28 and go through them, the, the, the four laws we give out on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that, man. Book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 29. Read it out. If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, right. where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because the Lord knew that we wouldn't hear him. Christians, they try to make it like, they always talk, they, they don't understand the Bible, man. Uh -huh. The Lord, this is, the Lord declared the end for them. Somebody give me, um, give me Isaiah 48 and 3. I think that's what I want. Let me get Isaiah 48 and 3 real quick. Keep going back to that. Right? Hey, the Lord is a God of knowledge, man. Right? 
This is the, this is the Lord's script, man. This the, we we playing the roles in the Lord's movie, man. All right. Uh, you got to understand that thing. You got to keep bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, and verse 3. Bring it up. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth. And I showed thee, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Right. Because I knew that thou art abstinent, and thy neck is an iron. Salat. Sinu, and thy brow grass. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it to thee. Lest thou should should like, say. Because the Lord, we already know about, we know about the Lord, man. <laughs> That's why all of us today, we the same men, man. Right. That's why we all back up here in order, keeping the command. We believe the scriptures. We're not confused about it. You know, we don't, we don't need some, we don't got it. It ain't too deep, man. The Lord already knew this, man. Uh -huh. And the Lord told us these things before he brought it to pass. Right? That's why now we just remembering ourselves. Go ahead. Kind. And the Lord said he knew his, he knew he was bringing up a stiff neck picture. He said, I know y'all not going to listen. Ooh. All right, but here go these law statutes to come in. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, y'all going to go off, man. I'm going to show you what I'm about. All right? That's how the Lord kind of letting it be known. That's Jake. You know we, we the children of the most out, man. Because right. that's how we are, man. That's right. right. And sometimes you just kind of, you know, you just kind of do stuff just so you can show. Like even with your kids, man. Yeah. You kind of say things, you kind of, you might set something up, I'm going to say, just to teach them, nah. just to show you, man. Nah. Ain't about to just put, write the laws, ain't just about to, you just can't get it from, you're going to have to work for it. Right. You're going to have to go through some things, man. And it's all about the glory of the Most High and the Lord making his name known throughout all the earth, nah. touching many generations, man. Every nation, man. Every nation had a rulership in the hands and the destruction of the children of Israel, man. We've been through captivity after captivity after captivity. Many of the prophets prophesied and warned Israel. They didn't listen. Even the prophets got put to death, man. Right? The Lord set it up. Go ahead. Con. Before it came to pass, I showed it to thee, lest thou sh shouldest say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. Right? So the Lord showed us the. And, and, I, and I forgot to get on the brother, but he had to down. He kind of hey. got down the road. Well, yeah, the molten image. Yeah, I didn't want to get to that yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to, you know, you know, seal the understanding of the brother first and then get to that. Once yeah. we got to the law, he kind of got up the block. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of got away. We had a fix down. See the boy just chain on them. All right, but you can drop that, King. All right, go back to uh, Baruch. For I knew that uh, Baruch, uh, uh, and that's why we got to, it's like, that's why we got to, um, Brothers, we gotta thank the Most High, man, just for being in His truth, man. Uh, uh, you know? uh, we gotta thank the Most High just for the, the small understanding we got, uh, the low level that we operate on. We gotta thank the Most High for that much, man. Right. It is truly right, a blessing right. to understand who we are and what we gotta do, man. That's, right. That's a battle with our people, man. I bet our people fight that. It might be simple to us, but we, we gotta cherish that and appreciate that, man. We uh, saw a little Lord, man. Go ahead. Uh, Baruch chapter two, verse thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. Uh -huh. But in the land of their captivity, they uh, captivities, they shall remember themselves. See that? Right. The Lord said, I knew. I knew they weren't going to hear me. <laughs> That's what Christians don't understand. It wasn't about us, the Lord, trying to see if we was going to listen. Yeah. And then, oh, y'all went off. Now, everybody, come on, all nations. Come on in this thing. No, it wasn't about that, man. All right? The Lord said he knew we was not going to hear, but in the land of our captivity, we're going to remember ourselves. And it's built brothers' faith when they read scriptures like this. Because we're seeing it happen. Yeah. We're literally remembering ourselves. Hey, brothers was doing stuff. And brothers had other stuff going on for this truth. Right? Yeah. And brothers kind of put everything to the side and followed the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Like our forefathers. Go ahead. And shall know that I am a, uh, so I can, and shall know that I am the Lord their God. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. Ain't we doing that? Uh, they said, and, and they shall know that I'm the Lord their God. And we found out that we're the children of Israel and he's only our God. In the land of our captivity. In the land of our captivity, man. We learned this, man. A lot of us, we just, this new. Right? We didn't grow up in the truth, man. Go ahead. And think upon my name. And what? Think, think upon, upon my name. Now we call on Yehovah, Shem, Yehovah, Shah, man. Hey, brothers, meditate on the name of the Lord, man. All right. Go ahead. And return from this stiff neck. And do what? And, and return, return from, from this stiff neck. neck. You got to come into the woods, Go ahead. 
Go ahead. <laughs> in return for the stiff neck. What about y'all? What's y'all next now? And from the wicked deeds. And what? And from the wicked deeds. Come on. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God. And they shall be my people, right. and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Shimon Mashiach, y'all was shot. Shimon That's a beautiful shot. Hey, y'all brothers got a couple minutes of the words of the Lord? Two minutes. We two, two minutes, minutes brother. brother. Two minutes, brother. Come around with me, King. See that, man? Hey, man. Hey, something's going to go nowhere. Yeah, rushing to go nowhere, man. They're not going nowhere, man. Probably for to go do something wicked. Uh, right, might get jammed up tonight. Right, some bad might happen. Hey, it's to happen to me in the world, man. Yeah, yeah. That's right, every time. <laughs> that's how we know. Yeah, that's how we know, yeah, man. Bro. That's how we know. <laughs> get, kind of get jammed up, man. Jammed up. But the Lord told us we got to come out here and keep. give me uh, Romans ten and twenty one, man. Right. Our number one focus, man. Hey, the Lord said, go out and get the lost sheep, man. That's oh, right. Man. Go out and wake them up, man. Bring it out. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, and verse 21. Bring it out. But to Israel he saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Man, we, we, you know, brothers on the streets all day, man. Week in and week out, man. And we be down there begging, Jake. Mm -hmm. And we only got to beg you, man. That's just the mercy of the Lord, man. Yeah. We don't got to beg, Jake, man. Right? And the elders don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You don't see that for two minutes. Come on, brother. They're not doing that, man. Yeah. Go ahead. That's it. That's it on that. But God's Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And the Lord put out people in the spirit of deep sleep. Man, that's a scary thing, man. All right? The Lord poured out the spirit of deep sleep on our people. Go ahead. And has closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And Every, the book. You know, everybody can't understand this Bible, man. Y'all know those brothers? I mean, that bro one brother that came up with yeah. the other uh, huh? Wasn't they here last week with those yeah, other that people? Was, that, was, that was a part of the other group. Okay. Yeah. They skedaddled, though. They now, nah, when we first started, I seen the brother up here. Like, you want to ask some ask questions or something? Yeah, that's what I, I kind of felt through the spirit. He wanted to ask me some questions. He said last week he was waiting to talk to you too. That's why they. That's why they keep coming here. I guess when they finish their little situation, they come. Here, to oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I kind of I can feel the spirit. You know. Yeah. Hey, brothers. Oh, okay. I know if you guys are recording. We are. Sorry. Oh, Don't worry about it. Go ahead. They just they they, they um uh, they watching that time. Uh, hey brother, hey come rap with me. You got two minutes. You got a couple minutes. Come rap with me. Two minutes for the words from the Lord, brother. All right, brother. All right, brother. Have a good night, brother. Good, but one. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, keep going on that. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And, it, and the Bible been, the Lord preserved it. This Bible been through, this Bible been here forever, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't understand the Bible. It's sealed, man. And the Lord determined through different dispensations of time what he was going to open up and reveal based on us, the children of Israel, man. And this is how we know our salvation is close. We're getting close to the end, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got some brothers, some brothers deep, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some brothers can get all in all the mysteries, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the most high, what, what's y'all not snow? Are y'all Edomites? No, we're not. Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all are Edomites, man. That's right. Go ahead. Edomites, man. Everybody don't want to be Edomites, man. 
Hey, come here to work, brother. And he said, doing? I cannot, for it is sealed. Right. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I, I am not learned. Right. Wherefore the Lord says, For as much as. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Give me two minutes, brother. I'm about to be on the phone, but wherefore the Lord says, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Is America gonna reign forever? What? Is America gonna reign forever? What do you mean by that? Will she ever be destroyed? Confounded. Okay. Go ahead. Think about it. Ain't ever asked a white man that in the 30s and the 40s, right? Right? right. 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 Yeah. In the in the down 50s, man. Yeah, right. Right. And he saw, man. He, they don't believe in America no more, man. Losing their pride. Yeah. This place, this place is finished, man. In the inward parts, they believe they're gonna dwell forever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Deep down inside. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, nah. Wherefore the what's Lord? What's y'all nationality? Are y'all white boys? Or Who's y'all? this? What's y'all nationality? Who oh my God. Who's this? You don't like my people. You don't like me. I love you. I love you, everybody. You, you finally got rid of that white woman. You back? You back to hear the truth? My color don't make difference. I love you. This the call. What's up with that hat, man? My color is my life. Hey, this is a car. They stole your land, man. Yeah. I love you. You're a disgrace to your for your ancestors, man. Right. That's right. Uh, they raped, robbed, and slaughtered the Mexicans, man. My right. Country. That that that's not great. Right now, I die for my country. Oh, I die. Man. Oh, man. Y'all your people, not this country. Come here, come here, Iscar. Come here, come here, brother. I want to hear you. Ben I keep, Ben I keep. Bring your sombrero. God bless you, and I wish the best for everybody. All right, bro. All right, bro. You be safe out here, man. Love you. All right, man. Love you too, man. Love you too, man. All right, man. My lord. Yes, we got to release in the kingdom. He talking about the white man. Right. <laughs> That's God bless him, brother. Yeah, you talking about the white man. That's why you got his flag on your head. That's right. All right, man. Continue. Continue. I go go to I can't hear you. I can't hear you, brother. You got a damn cake on, man. You got a cake on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Come on, man. 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 Come on, Let's see. I'm going to show you. No, 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 no. Revelation no, no. 1 and 4. God is no faith. No, 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 Can no, I prove no. it? Go see. Can I prove it? I got it. No. I never see the Lord. And I be the only. I be in my knees, but no, I never see the Lord. Is this him? Is this him? God is not got no faith. No, no. Look, look. Don't bother with me. It's called. I do out of respect that God is not got no faith. God is Lord. Jesus right here. Is that Jesus right there? Come over here. Come over here. Is that Jesus? Put your glasses on. Come over here. Is that Jesus? Come over here, brother. Come over here and listen to the word. Come on, man. He's going to show you who he is. Jesus what? No, no. Escuchame, escuchame, escuchame. Jesus, nigga? Jesus existió. Pero no es... Jesus blanco? Quiero, quiero... No, no importa el color, carnal. Lo que importa es... He said, he said the color is not important. <laughs> Come over here, brother. I want to talk to you for a second. Come, I want to talk to you. I'm not going to hurt you. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. He said he could Sound. hear you from over there. Okay, okay. But that don't make difference. When the Lord is here, there. Okay, okay. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? The, listen to me, I don't finish. How the difference come to you, goes to you when the Lord is everywhere? Preguntas. Son, listen, I don't finish my question. Let him finish, let him finish. It's supposed to Lord be here. Here, 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 here. Now I have to be, listen to him. Does that make sense? 
No, no, I'll ask you one question. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, okay, you, you, you must sound. He got to give you some scriptures. Okay, now you understand. You just try playing to the Lord. God is real. Bobby, it, Bobby, it, Bobby. It. Fuck. God is real. And the name of the Lord. God is real. God's real. Sorry, 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 you all right, brother? Y'all hear us? Okay, low, low. Up, 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 Be real to Lord. We your brother. Don't you get lied to me? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Be real to him and I believe you. You can lie to me? See, see. But Lord know who was Lord. Remember the those apostles of I don't wanna say that but I'm my bottom of my heart. I love you. Every, 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 you like to me? You like to me? I still love you. Love you love Christ? You love Christ? Right, Bobby. It's not the wrong. Now I'll bring the Lord here. You, you love Christ? It. See? Yes, sir. All right. John 14, 15. Yes, this is John, John chapter 14, verse 15. No, no, no. It's, it's God. God's my father. And I never said no to the Lord. If he loved me, keep my commandments. What the Lord say? If he loved me, keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. Christ say, if you love him, you got to keep the commandments. You understand? You understand, brother? Yes, sir. You got to keep the commandments? Continue. Continue. Give me first John 5 and 2. More, need more food. Give me more first John 5 This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Oh, yeah. For this is the love of God, right? That we keep His commandments. So this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Hey, we keeping the commandments right now. Give me Leviticus 19. All right, one of the commandments is we have to love our brother, man, no matter what. Uh, uh, All right, and the so-called Mexican, that's our brother, man. That's right. right. Uh, All right, we your brothers, whether you believe it or not. You walk right. by us all the time, man. That's right. All right, and the Lord got us out here for you, man. Uh, Bring it out, King. Okay. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So the Lord said in his laws and his commandments that we can't have a grudge with one another. We got to rebuke each other. That's love. Right. And we can't suffer sin upon Issachar. That's All right. right. Upon right. our Mexican brother, we got to tell you, brother, you're going off. We love you, brother. That's right. Uh, That's all right. right. Uh, and we got to bring you into the truth. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, thou shalt not hate thy brother. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Against what? Against, against the, the children, children of thy, thy people. people. Against who? Against, against the, the children, children of thy people. people. Against the children of thy people. Who are your people? Yo. Come on. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. But thou shalt what? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as, as thyself. thyself. So the children of thy people is your neighbor. 